day, but never talking about the same thing on three different shows. And when they would call me, each show would have a producer call me. I would lie to them and say, they'd say, uh, have you discussed the, the, the gay football player? I go, nope, I have not. Like that. So one woman called me, and I thought it was another woman, and I started talking to her like it was going to be the afternoon show, but it was the night show. And she says, what are you talking about? I went, oh, oh, you're talking about the show tonight? She goes, yeah. I go, oh, no, I'm sorry. I, 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 yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'll be there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw you with Don Lemon. You were very good. So Yeah, you know, I liked him. He was good. And um, I can't believe that buddy... you get on CNN after you bash them constantly on this show. You know, nobody listens. I guess not. You know? How can you know, they ever get Sirius anything? XM. Oh, it's amazing. Sirius XM has a very select audience, and I've... Uh, you know, realize that it's, you know, they can say whatever they want to say in the front, but it really is, it's it's, it's a working class group of men. When I lived in L.A. or New York, yeah, different people, you know, management type people would, would listen from networks and all of that. But for some reason, and, and it may be because when they get in their cars in New York, and now L.A., they probably do, they probably do listen. But in New York, especially where CNN is, I don't, I don't think, I don't think they're, they're listening. I don't think so, but I don't know. Not this group of people. Maybe it just doesn't matter, you know? Because you know you're what? T- you're, t- you're telling the truth. It's not like you're if not. If an underling knows about it, they're not going to tell the producer, hey, you know, yeah. this guy shits on us, you know? Yeah. Um, I was on the phone with friends of mine, everybody I knew yesterday who worked at CNN, and not one person And you look great, said, too. You look very good. Well, thanks. Yeah, I feel good. You I were squinting, good. though. You were, you're, what was, no, what was that, the, the lights, the lights were stupid. They were mm-hmm. way up high. They were like stadium lights. Yeah. And I, you know, they put you in a studio, and it's a remote con- control camera. There's no people around. And they had the lights set in a weird way. And I should have said something before it started, but I, I didn't. And I, I kept trying not to blink. But when I looked up, the lights were in my eyes. They were these LED big giant, I don't know what they were. It's amazing that know. you're this sports guy that admits that you're not a sports guy, but they bring you on because <laughs> you are a sports guy. I'm a gambler. That's what I say to them. Uh, yeah, but you, say, but oh, they NFL introduce football. you, and like you're talking to the uh the coach from North Carolina, and you're a buddy of his. You know, no, I mean, he, he, uh, I know, but uh, you met him well, many, you many years ago. Many years ago, yeah. Right. And, but well, you, he was a famous player. <laughs> now, anybody, you could say what you but want. But you tell to, him, you go, you know, I didn't know anything. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows. He oh. knows it that. seems he knows like it. the second still... that you brought up the betting, everybody yeah. kind of took your side. Like at first, they were. This is I'm talking about Jane Velez's show. Mm-hmm. You brought up a really good point about how, you know, as long as he can play football, I don't care what he is or does. Mm-hmm. And everybody uh-huh. was like, no, 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 no. And then the second that he was like, listen, I'm a better and I, right. I gamble okay. on these teams. And then it seemed like everybody else kind of turned and then mm-hmm. the prosecutor wanted to make out with you. Well, let's put all those links on um, jthomas.com if we can find them uh, for people that don't watch CNN. Now, I didn't watch Fox yesterday and I wanted to. I think, I'm, I'm guessing... I don't Fox think is talking about as Fox is talking about Hillary Clinton has mental problems. Yes, I saw that. <laughs> Carl Rove has announced that he thinks that Hillary, when she hit, what did she hit her head on? She out fell down. Airplane? She had like a William Holden moment, I think. Yeah. <laughs> after, she, after she got out of the the uh, running with she, Barack Obama, she started drinking heavily in Washington D.C. and fell down. <laughs> And then I read a thing yesterday that, that um, when Barack Obama went to Japan, a couple of the parliamentarians there said he was he was fucking Caroline Kennedy. Have you read this story? No, I didn't hear and that. that. And Michelle oh. was so mad oh, that she spent God. government money on a uh, a fabulous resort in Virginia and that to screw everybody in the United oh. States, she spent $150 million on a trip to China. <laughs> I swear to God, I read that yesterday. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. You know, no, that's the yes. last thing Barack Obama is not going to be having sex with. And Caroline she's going to leave. Those she's teeth? already. Oh, you know, God. She's, yeah, she's already contacted attorneys. Um, you know, oh, that's uh, a great story, uh, though. It is. Yeah, it's uh, fantastic. Fabulous. 
Uh, but my 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 friend um, Cedric Maxwell, who's been on the show, is now one of the announcers for the Celtics. Oh, when I was the did he take over announcer. from Johnny Most? No, remember Johnny a, Most? He he's a color announcer, and so Johnny the, Most was um, the play-by-play guy. Everybody, it's me, Johnny Most. Yeah, that time the it. Celtics. I'm gonna die of throat cancer, which I did. Oh, <laughs> uh, he did. <laughs> and he Jeez. fiddles and diddles. Here comes DJ. Yeah, fiddling, diddling, coming down and crossing yeah, the timeline. <clears throat> um, so I hurt my throat doing that. So he, um, uh, you know, I, I haven't physically, I haven't seen him in a few years. And so, but he used to take cornbread and they do this in the South and he, and he put it into a glass of milk with honey. My dad mm-hmm. did this too. It's yeah. a big Southern thing, but he ate tons of it. Tons and tons of cornbread. Mm-hmm. And so the announcer, John Kilgo, who was the play-by-play announcer, and I knew nothing about basketball. That's not a joke. But we won every award there was to win because people loved John Kilgo telling me who I replaced his brother at the radio station. He never really cared for me. And um, we almost got this fight at Madison. Yeah. Well, we went to Madison Square Garden for um, for the NITs one year, and we almost got in a fist fight uh, in the booth. And you could tell that he didn't like me. Then he started really liking me, and we started hanging out together. We had a great time. But in the beginning, he wasn't didn't care for me. And he would call him Cedric Cornbread Maxwell. And so he became Cedric Cornbread Maxwell. I was pretty brave yesterday on national uh, international news television to call a black guy Cornbread uh, <laughs> yesterday. Uh, someone and then mentioned that to me. Yeah. yeah, and then you're. Oh yeah, then I turned then, my head. Then, weren't you talking about Donald Sperling too? Sterling. Yeah, Sterling. I said he ought to go to jail for the die job alone. I know that was hysterical. <laughs> that yeah, was that. Nice. I, and that he is absolutely correct about Magic Johnson. He's one hundred percent correct. Oh no, correct. he's not. Magic Johnson, after he was diagnosed with AIDS, I can't prove it. But you would see him at this gym, the L.A. Sports Club, right. and he would pull up in a Bentley, and he always dressed in this Lakers outfit and all that. Right. And uh, a friend of mine who was a doctor at the sports club said, I hear, and these are rumors, mm-hmm. he still he stills fucking women, even though he has AIDS. Yeah. yeah. Well, sure yeah, he no, was. You know, all you have to By do the way, say that how did have... he get it? No, no. Here, here's the weird thing about Magic Johnson. You would think whenever it was, 20 years ago, whenever it was, somebody would have come out and said, wait a minute, he fucked me, prostitute, whatever it was. I may have AIDS and I need money. That never happened. Not one yeah. time. Nobody ever came forward. Either Why is dead. that, do you think? I don't know. No one knows. Because uh, they didn't, because maybe he used a condom and he disclosed No, he didn't use a time. condom. Well, he did. You know, after, Look, after he was diagnosed, I'm sure he did. There is something that I've always known about athletes uh, they will hump a rock if right. they think a snake is under it and mm-hmm. i've known jocks who will let professors suck them off and do things to men uh you know i'm, I'm and the, now i don't think they're gay but they would do whatever the hell it was okay that's well whatever gay. but but they would let the stuff happen to them mm-hmm. um i think that uh, magic johnson either had lots of anal sex with women that may have had uh, AIDS, prostitutes, or whatever. You're That's like what, Carl Rove, like the way you diagnose people. It's true, you know. And the other thing is, or he put his he put his penis in men's asses unprotected. Mm-hmm. And I mean, how else? There, there's only a couple. Of, or he didn't use needles. He's mm-hmm. not a needle doer. Well, maybe I mean, he was. You got to look yeah. at how you catch it. Uh, there's a very look. It's a one half of one thousandth of a percent that you get it from vaginal entry. Unless the, the you know the woman has you know HIV and you and you have a cut somewhere you gotta have a, you know he has to enter you someplace it has so. to it's do it's it's with blood you know you have to it has to go through it, your blood you know it it's like um it's like Dr Dre selling uh his headphones for two point three billion dollars mm-hmm. apple's going to try and buy it or 3.2 billion dollars or whatever right and there's a um uh what do you call it there there's a um a video out there garrett 
that shows he and some of his homeboys, after they were offered the billion dollars, I'm sure Dr. Dre said we ought to have some headphones that are different colored, and he went to one of these guys, and they then, yeah. the, then the real geniuses did it, and it turned out to be a hit. Okay, great. I don't think he knows what's in the headphones, how the headphones work, nothing. And these guys who make a lot of money who are athletes or entertainers or whatever, I don't think they're bright at all. And I think they're very, very lucky. And um, Lenny Dykstra, who was the great baseball player, when I interviewed Nails. him after it was... No, when I interviewed him, I said his name. after his name it was, was over, name. he's. I wouldn't give the guy... I wouldn't have given him $1,000 to invest for me. It was so obvious he was full of shit right. and didn't know what the fuck he was doing. And, and people said, are you crazy? He's worth $100 million, and he invests for everyone. I know. That was what? so insane. that you know, Stupid. Just like you would watch him on these uh, money shows, yeah. and, and, and people would talk to him, and, and he... I was like, how can this guy be so wealthy? I don't understand it. I mean, it was just the... If if I had made millions and hundreds of millions of yeah. dollars, I have a very conservative advisor, and I would still have plenty of money. I would have probably tried to blow some of it or get rid of it or whatever, but but I would still be a, a wealthy guy. That, that, that's what uh, – you're just lucky if you have good advisors, mm -hmm. right? And so most of these guys don't have good advisors, or they have people that, that want to make money off of their money, and right. they invest in a mall or whatever the fuck it is. I think Magic Johnson's very lucky. I also think uh, Michael Jordan is is very lucky, and I think that Lenny Dykstra was not lucky and and stupid and tried to invest mm -hmm. his own money. Not that they aren't nominally bright about investments, but I don't think they're any smarter about investments than I am or you are, and we don't know a fucking thing about it. Nothing. Nothing. Hey, look, if you can go get a hundred million bucks at the bank and you're Michael Jordan, you can own a basketball team. Mm -hmm. And you're from North Carolina. A lot of people will give you, if you have the guys behind you, you know. And and I think Michael Jordan, Gary, isn't he one of the worst owners in the NBA? I mean, he has failed Bobcats consistently since he's uh, been part of yeah. the NBA team. What do you mean mm -hmm. failed? You know, like the just team's losing. He's a bad owner. Yeah, yeah. He's a bad owner. Well, it's Jeez, also, you know. it's also a new team. Right? No, but he was with no. the Wizards too. He owned part of the Wizards mm -hmm. and yeah, he's a bad Trevor, owner. And then the Bobcats, which are now you know, his ego is more. You know, I, I would imagine Michael Jordan Maybe plays he should much play. more golf than basketball. No, the problem is, is that he he's not a good personnel guy. He doesn't know who to who to get. He doesn't yeah. know how to get him. Yeah, like they and tried to the hire coach. Ted Williams as a batting coach, and he's terrible because he couldn't tell people how to do his natural ability. He just did it. They don't they don't have any of the of the audio of it. But I remember Ted Williams when he was a manager was so mad. Of yeah. The these guys couldn't hit the ball, and he went berserk <laughs> and would, what's the matter with you? What are you? And, and you know, they were going, well, you're Ted Williams. You know, it's like, you know, I took golf he, Did he ever play, uh, did he ever manage in Boston, Ted Williams? Or No, no, he only managed in, in the Senators. But uh, okay. I took golf lessons, and I was doing everything I could in L.A., and this guy would actually put his hands on my waist and try and turn my nice. waist so I would turn. I like that. And one night after about two months, he's mm -hmm. sitting down with a cigarette, and he goes, you know, um, I, I, I'll i never be an actor or be able to tell jokes. I go, what do you mean like that? He goes, well, some people just can do things and some people can't. <laughs> That's what he said to me. <laughs> Meaning that I would never be able to properly <laughs> really hit a golf ball. You could never play golf. <laughs> no. no. Uh, let's go to Mike who's in Los Angeles. How did Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, how did Michael Jordan, how did, uh, not, wait a minute, how Magic. did Magic Johnson get AIDS? How did he get AIDS? He, 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 he doesn't have AIDS. He has HIV. What's the difference? <laughs> There's a big fucking difference, man. Oh, there is? Yeah. Oh, it never became uh, the carcinoma. The the, uh, just, the sarcomas. It's HIV, not full so blown. Just, you know, oh, it's not full here. blown. Okay. All right. I, <laughs> I got liked you. it when Donald Sterling said he, he's got AIDS. Yeah, he's got yeah. AIDS. He's got AIDS. He's, like, and I'm he slept with every woman in the country. He slept with every woman in the country. How would you respect just, that? Just yeah. trying to help you with your information. Back Thank you very head. much, Mike. Thank You're you. Welcome. HIV is a lot better. I'm glad. Let's go to Sarah, who is in. 
Portland, Oregon. Uh, yes, Sarah, go ahead. Uh, so I, I remember you from the sports couple. I used to work there for about, oh, my gosh, four or five years. I worked at the front No, you don't. Alabama. You remember me from Sports Club LA. That's I wild. remember a lot of the people that would come in because I would read their card. I'd check them in. And I had about On Sepulveda. Ten. On Sepulveda. Yeah, I remember that. Yes, right. And my I doctor. Said, don't say yes. my doctor's name, but he was my doctor there. Dr. Oh, Vinny okay. Von Boots. There were a lot of doctors that were members. But I had about ten friends who... When everything came out about magic, had to go get HIV tests because I know. of the circle of people that he was sleeping with at that club. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Now, after he was diagnosed with HIV, did you ever? These are strictly rumors. This is all hearsay. Uh, yeah. Did you hear that he still slept with um, uh, women? Still would screw him. Yes. Isn't that weird? Would you have it's screwed him? Really? Screw him? Really? Did you, no, did you screw work. him, Sarah? I one for a fact. I would be in her apartment, and I would have to leave when he would come oh. over. I, I know someone for a fact. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, now, and now, she never said to you, like, I'm a little worried that I might get HIV? Um. Well, and I, yeah, and I don't want to say too much, but there, I have a friend who actually is HIV. So from that whole situation, I don't know if it was from her or someone else, but... Um, it was it was pretty scary for a lot of us that not me but there was a group of people that were uh, very nervous for a while after he was diagnosed. Right. And it's all you know college students. It wasn't like we were you know traveling in his circle. You know what? It was. It's. Uh, I mean, I only got this from my doctor who said he had. My doctor in L.A. has five thousand yeah. clients, and he said I don't have a heterosexual. Um, or a needle. You, I, I, the only the only HIV people I have are, are 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 homosexuals or needle users. He says it's very difficult for heterosexuals to to ha- to pass it back and forth. And uh-huh. I, I, that's what I heard this a long time ago. And he said I have no idea how this guy got it, but he had to do it from you know. Uh, I think that's why needles. women weren't afraid to continue to see him, and they would use protection and. Um, they were. It was more important for them to continue to sleep with him. It wasn't about just to have him. that big schlong inside of him. It was worth. It was <laughs> worth. It. That's amazing. I I, I, I've never had a schlong like. I don't know that anybody's ever gone. I got to have that in me, no matter what I get from it. <laughs> I don't know. Huh? Hey, Christina. Well, never wanted, I got to have that in me, no matter what. James Franco mm. has HIV. You're you still a liar. Do it with him? Shut up. <laughs> no, oh do you God. still do it with him? Uh, no, of <laughs> course I don't, but I fantasize about it anyway. <laughs> Even if he had swamp ass, you wouldn't do mm-hmm. it with him, would you? Mm-hmm. Swamp ass. Mm-hmm. Sarah of Portland. Swamp ass, I'd be okay. Sarah, what do you do now? Do you uh, work at a AIDS clinic? What do you do now? No, I do not. I work in sales and marketing. All righty. Well, thank yeah. you, Sarah, for listening to the Jay Thomas Show. Thank you. I love uh, your show. I listen all the time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, let's uh, let's look at what Carl Rove has suggested at a conference. Um, he has said he stunned the conference uh, on stage uh, with a correspondence. Uh, who one guy had written a book called Spies Against Armageddon and all this other Republican bullshit and 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 uh, Benghazi. I don't know what they're saying. What we tried to we orchestrated killing our own people and all this other stupidity. He said that uh, the official diagnosis was a blood clot. Rove told the conference, thirty days in the hospital?" Question mark. And when she reappears, she's wearing glasses that are only for people who've had a traumatic brain injury. Are those traumatic brain injury glasses, Kevin? Is that? Yes, they are. <laughs> they were bizarre-looking glasses. It was like... Garrett, can you look up traumatic brain injury glasses? There's no such them up? thing. Uh, no? No. <laughs> You're joking? I am joking, but there are no such thing as brain injury glasses. They already um, looked them up. Mrs. Clinton's representative says, I will not even, you know... Answer this, but I just want to let you let do, let Doctor Rove know. She's not like Ira. She wanted to let Doctor Rove know. She's a one hundred percent. She had three days going under treatment for this blood clot, mm-hmm. and um, she may need more tests. She was weakened by a stomach virus, mm-hmm. and then she sustained a concussion. There was a blood clot behind her right ear in the space between her brain and her skull. And when Bill found out, he tried to fuck it. Because <laughs> he'd never fucked that before. No. Like everything else. <laughs> he wanted to do that. 
Let me just put my penis on that, Hillary. Come on. Hey, the Standard Hotel has had a massive cancellation of um, of reservations from especially celebrities. I canceled. Now that they, I was supposed to be there tonight. No, they they've canceled because they're going. Yeah. Okay, it's okay to have a, a, a camera, but who sold? And what do you think TMZ pays for that? I don't I know. Six figures. Think yes. so? So five grand? Okay, so you lose your job over five grand? You're, you're done. You're five finished. grand. Find four out figures. who did it. Oh, six figures. What is that? Like over a hundred. Like I, I'll guess a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, really? That's six like figures. Like it doesn't sure hurt is. that bad to lose your job. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can find a job. Right. You you you'll find more another. Than I will my whole life. And I also heard that the pictures were taken on a cell phone, on a yeah, on a phone of of the video. So they were what they were going through the the videos. They were just going through them, and because it came a week later, and they saw this, and then the person put it on their phone. Oh, you don't think he recorded that day and then was negotiating with TMZ to get the most money? I don't know. I don't know. I think I, I don't know that they knew it even happened. I don't. You know, I think I think they go through the security cameras just, you know, it's probably pretty boring. You know, people picking their noses and... A lot of sex, yeah. I bet, or like little... Standing there. there. Monitored Heavy while, while it's happening. So, like, there's things that, you know, there's people watching that, like, while you're on the elevator. Somebody's monitoring the elevator to see if there's going to be a crime committed, especially in a hotel like that. Yeah, and it was taped off of one of those four-screen... On one screen, right. So if you were going to go back and watch it, you'd watch it on a full screen. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have it split up. I would assume. Well, you know, when you have these controversies uh, like that one, um, like the, you know, the the, the um, Michael Sam uh, football thing, when you, when you have you know Sterling and all that, it covers up other things that would that would make the news uh, during all of this. Uh, HGTV has pulled uh, a new home flipping series called Flip It Forward when they found out the twin brother hosts were anti-gay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look out. And, uh, yep. Um, they are, um, they made statements like homosexuality and its agenda are attacking our nation. Mm -hmm. David and Jason Benham. We're going to be the host of this show and and help families buy homes, uh, fixer-uppers each episode. Um, no. They're being replaced by a design competition show produced by Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> so in your face, gay haters. In your face, gay haters. Uh, in Japan, a cab driver uh, has been held were drugging female tourists with diuretics, locking the car doors and allowing them to urinate all over the back seat or into a little jar. And um, we would lure women into long rides, and they're from you know the United States or Australia. What didn't know where they were going, and I guess he would give them what what he said were mints or something. <laughs> And they would take these, eat these mints, and then it was a diuretic, and they would start pissing everywhere. Um, or he would offer them a Japanese snack, uh, saying, you know, welcome to <laughs> Japan. <laughs> <laughs> a security camera inside the cab showed around 50 w women wetting themselves <laughs> in the back seat. <laughs> um uh, one alleged victim says that she got into Mr. Nishi's taxi in Osaka, and he offered her a small paper cup containing water biscuits Ooh, what a biscuit. and, and intimated that this was part of the, the tradition in Japan to eat water biscuits yes. when you arrived. And then she said, listen, I need to go to the toilet. He would not let her out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> what he refused, what a biscuit and he passed back an absorbent sheet oh, on which she was encouraged to urinate on like a cat. <laughs> Who's uh, that actress that uh, is always uh, going in the uh, the kitty litter? Uh, what, was, what was her name? Eileen uh, Elaine Stritch. 
They would Elaine say, they would say, they would say uh, she, they go, sorry, Miss uh, Stritch, we have no bathroom uh, in this dressing room. Oh, I don't need a bathroom. Just give me a box of kitty litter. And they'd bring yeah. in the kitty litter, and she would just, I'll go in here. I'm fine. Um, apparently, he was getting excited watching the women try <laughs> to withstand the urge to urinate. It yeah. was part of the excitement. Um, adding that he had bought the diure diuretics on the Internet and crushed them and mixed them in with the... The crackers were homemade. Oh, he's like, yeah. a, like a chef. And and then Chemist. the women the women would stumble out with wet, you know, <laughs> pants and... <laughs> oh, horrible man. Uh, on the Internet, um, women who want to That's trap why, yeah, men... You know, I don't want to do that. Women that want to trap men can now buy positive pregnancy tests that have can you believe that? Um, that have the plus sign on it. So oh, they gosh. buy one at the drugstore. Hell, if you that's do something that, like that, that is. And then, and the and and then they have. And you have a miscarriage. <laughs> You know? Then yeah. you throw yourself down the steps. <laughs> yeah. Land on a coat hanger. No big deal. You throw yourself down the steps at his place. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, at his place. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the pick uh, pick cards are selling hey, hey. with Jay Thomas's picture on them. Uh, go to, I can't believe it. Go to pikcard dot com. Yeah, and all the, the kids he... at uh, Kate's school is are getting the, your pick cards. Oh, I don't know. Okay. It's really weird. They just love you. There's over, you know, almost a hundred thousand or so people. Yeah. Hey, an interested. artist, an artist at mm -hmm. uh, Florida State, an art major at Florida State, uh, has made a what looks like an Aztec calendar. That shows the the quarterback and baseball player, um, J whatever it is, Jamie's Winston, and it has him depicted as some sort of a Aztec king with his large black penis <laughs> raping women from a throne. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you Stay seen large it, black penis, or did you improv yes. that? <laughs> no, it says that. Um, what is that? Say the Winston, story who was again. investigated but not charged, but did steal the crab's legs. They also show crab's legs in his lap. Uh -huh. um, right. And he's that. sitting on a throne, uh, and there's a man wearing a Pi Kappa Alpha shirt, blows him, goes down on him. So there's a frat boy blowing him. Um, and he's got a. Oh, yeah, he's got five, my God. Yes. Then he has naked women around him. Um, one woman mm -hmm. looks like she either has blood stains or a handprint on her bosoms. Um, and this, um, I think it's a woman that did it, says, look, it's a piece of art. It is very thinking. artful, yes. And then she has a crab at the bottom left yelling, go Knowles, <laughs> while uh, Jameson Winston. I can't see all these things that you're mentioning. No, there's a woman sticking a, um icon of some sort up Winston's ass. Can you Garrett, show me you that, see Garrett? It? The artist's name is Le Where's Lena, right? Lena N.W.? Well, maybe it's cut off. Maybe it's cut no, off. No, they've yeah. got, well, no, they've got the guy. I got the picture of the guy going down on him. I don't Just I don't put see Aztec that. calendar. Um, I don't see that. Try and get her on, can you? We have you her that? already. Wow. It's, it, this is on it. Deadspin. Uh, FSU art student creates painting. She'll be on with us next week. I'm trying to find okay. her. Try to get Casey Kaysen, Mom. You, well, we can't. His wife has him in She'll hiding. be with us on Wednesday the 21st. Uh, a man says that Casey Kasem's uh, uh, wife, uh, who, who, by the way, uh, for a moment or two was on Cheers or whatever, and complete nut, um, in my Ooh, estimation. Uh, oh, they think, yeah. Yeah, you like it now? I like uh, they, that now. Yeah, you like that's, it now? That's yeah. art. That's art. It is. Nothing wrong uh, with that. Casey Kasem's no, no. family... Casey Kasem's, a crab is saying go Knowles. Uh, Casey Kasem's family is alleging that she has him hidden away in an Indian reservation in Washington State. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll tell you something else. Yeah. There is a huge, um, they also think that the head of Scientology's wife, uh, who nobody has seen in a few years, is right. hidden in Washington State, not in oh, Indian really? Reservation. Oh, really? I thought they There's went out a... to find her, and they talked to her, and she's fine. Yes, well, of course she is. She's fine, all right. Yeah, yeah she's fine. Um, but um, they have a, a big, um, I don't know what, like a retreat or whatever on 
a, you is know, Casey a thousand Kasem, acres. Is Casey Kasem, uh, is he part of that Scientology? She might be. She might be. That That's what I think. Yeah. I don't think it's an Indian reservation. Yeah. You know who's really creepy looking, you know, with yeah. this whole NBA thing? That cool. uh, the, the commissioner of the NBA. Oh, God. Isn't he creepy looking? Really creepy. Adam Silver, is that his name? Could they get an uglier freak? Yeah, like, guy? you know, like he's doing the right thing and everything, but every time he comes on, I'm like, this guy creeps me out. Yeah. You know, really skinny. Although I kind of applaud him on his thinness. Well, well Timothy Geithner, who was the uh, uh, Treasury Secretary and, of course, was vilified by a lot of people, but, right. you know, it's all seemed to work out. Uh, he was at a, a party for his book. And Barbara Streisand comes up to him, and she's a big Democrat, and she says, I, I like you because you're a Jew from Brooklyn. <laughs> and and she kissed him and left, and Geithner turned to someone and said, I'm not a Jew, and I've never been to Brooklyn. <laughs> so well, that was funny. Memory. Um, Dominic. Uh, to Jay Thomas Show at Gmail. My brother is the manager of the Edison Hotel in New York City. Wow. Love the you allowed show. Colin Quinn to come on and make slanderous comments about about his property. I'm a huge fan of the show and Kevin and I love Christina. If at all possible, can you let people know that my brother's Edison Hotel in New York City's Times Square is one of the best places to stay in New York City? Well, I wouldn't say that, but it's certainly an affordable place to stay, and it's right in the middle of Times Square. You know, it's I'm like a doctor, and we listen to you in surgeries uh, between <laughs> three and six. Oh, that's nice. My wife just had surgery, um, elective surgery on her neck and her ears and everything else, and a friend of ours did it, and she said, "Oh, you know, um, uh, John puts a movie on in the." Uh, in the operating room, and he does a lot of kids, too, and stuff, you know, some horrifying stuff that's happened to children. And I go, does he watch the movie? She goes, absolutely. In fact, the nurse has a stick, and she pokes him in the chest to get his attention. I said, well, what movie did you watch? Babe 2. <laughs> that's what they watch. And she said, in the middle of surgery, she was like half a half hour, she goes, I heard him go, hey, is that Babe 2? I swear to God. Yeah, and that's they do it so that they don't. Was it Roscoe think, Lee Brown was in Babe, wasn't he? But I, I no, no. Yeah, the voice um, Roscoe. Roscoe. Oh, he was the voice. Yes, but but um, he's a friend of mine. They do it. Uh, I think so because they're focusing on such minutia that they look up so that they don't. I don't know what it doesn't screw their eyesight up or something, something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh dear Jay, this is from Rusty. Um, please, really, um, you told us about three movies to see if any of us are stupid enough to watch them. Mm -hmm. Secretary, Details, and Bernie. Yeah. I cannot believe you Secretary enjoyed Secretary is not on Netflix, by the way. Oh, it's on On Demand. I know that. Okay, it's not on Netflix because I details on ought Netflix to be and it wasn't on I Netflix. love Secretary. Order I love Netflix. Details. Yes, you can the order disc. it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't do that. I oh, just, I just, us. I just stream. He said Bernie wasn't so bad. Bernie well, was good. I, secretary and details are fantastic. You're too unsophisticated to get it. First of all, I can prove it. Your name is Rusty. Jay, I'm sitting around with my father-in-law and mother-in-law the other day. My ex-father-in-law and mother-in-law, Marianne, and you know a bunch of uh, family people. So they're talking movies, and I said, "Well, I heard a very good movie that." Uh, you should watch Secretary. And so my ex sister in law says, Isn't that about S and M? Yep. <laughs> I go, I don't know what it's about. And then the father in law goes to me, Why would I want to watch a movie about S and M? <laughs> and I'm like, How did I get involved in so this? So your father in law your your ex father in law my, used yeah. to be Ted Kennedy? Well, yeah. They they all sound like the Kennedys. They do. The mother in law Hello, uh, Kevin. So good to see you again. I've, you've lost some weight, and your jowls aren't sagging. You look very good. You know, they said they, they, yeah. People from that generation they emulated the Kennedys so much that they became them. You know, they uh, it was like they they're were the, big Democrats. These people, yeah, they're Democrats, but kind of on a Reagan mm. scale. Reagan Democrats. You know, they voted for Reagan. They voted for JFK. You know, maybe one of them voted for Nixon. You know, but then they all voted for uh, Clinton. 
Uh, this comes from Sebastian to Jay Thomas Show at Gmail. Jay, I listen to the show all the time and heard you talk about sending chicken bones to people. <laughs> I live in uh, in uh, Worcester County, Maryland, and my kids go to a high school. Where's the name of the high school? Oh, Stephen Decatur High School. Mm-hmm. There's a vice principal there named Mark Flynn, mm-hmm. who apparently Careful. lays out some pretty stiff punishments mm-hmm. to people. <laughs> stiff punishments. A kid who apparently uh, has had some trouble had begun mailing feces <laughs> to the vice principal. Sounds like one of your illegitimate kids. Yes, Ray. possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Vice Principal yeah, well, uh, Flynn the approached tree. the school's security officers and, and the deputies to report that he had been receiving excrement through the mails. Not not one, but two other packages seemed to have the excrement oh, inside of them. God. Uh, the postal inspector was able to write down a license plate of a teen who allegedly was delivering the packages uh, to the post office. Mm-hmm. The teen was arrested outside of a McDonald's where the police found a large quantity of alcohol and other feces that he was preparing to, oh, to mail out. Mail. He confessed to the crime and said he used dog and cow feces. Oh, that's horrible. You have to go with the human. If you're going to mail feces, you have to mail your own. They won't say his name because he's underage. Get that they, way. Uh, he's charged with three <laughs> counts of disturbing activities at school, three counts of molesting a school administrator. And police noted that molestation in this case doesn't mean anything of a sexual nature. Come on. This is a, okay, we know that. Yeah, um, but just to have molest on there, you don't want that. Well, yeah. well, it wasn't really the molest that you're talking of. You're thinking of right. It was feces. I would mail feces to people, and then they said I'm molesting. I wasn't touching anybody. I was just hey. Good shit. news, Andre Jackson, who many of you may know as Christ Bearer, uh, he cut his penis off with a knife. <laughs> he was a rapper. Cut his penis <laughs> off with a knife, and then he jumped out of a second story window where he didn't even sprain his ankle. Uh, The rapper has now said that his penis has been fully attached. It is functional, but he will not be able to have children. (gasps) Is he single? (laughs) (laughs) He is in therapy now, and he has been asked why he took such drastic measures. His confession was he was smoking marijuana and reading about monks and vasectomies. (laughs) I'm he so was depressed in <laughs> over not being able to see his daughters because of a restraining order. Uh, Johnson yeah. is a member of the Wu Tang spinoff group Killer Bees. Uh, he was found on the sidewalk outside of his apartment building in West Hollywood, April sixteenth, and he was uh, rushed immediately to Cedar Sinai, where they reattached. They his do penis. great penis reattachment at cedar sinai they're they're known uh throughout the world as one of the best penis reattachment hospitals well do you believe the doctors looked at him and said look put his dick back on and make sure this asshole can't procreate that's what i think yeah. oh you think so oh yeah that's the way that's what they're doing in the operating room while they're watching babe <clears throat> hey garrett i sent you a speech being given by a woman graduating uh can you play it and let's see if kevin and Christina and anybody listening knows who it is. Do you know what oh. I'm talking about, Garrett? Garrett? Yeah, he's 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 right there on the computer. Why did you send this? I sent it like right before the show. It's a woman, a famous woman, graduating from college, and she gives a speech. I and did not get it. oh, come on! I got the penis story. The yeah. The Yelp reviews. Right, we're gonna do and that on your Friday. message about YouTube videos. All right, hold on. Doggone it. <laughs> Shut up, Christina. This is a note. Then there's this YouTube video of a little English girl in Syria. That's, Don't you love that's those? That's the video I had to find. <laughs> My whole day. My whole day is like that. I just take his entire email and copy paste it and put it into Google search just to see what comes up first. I start from there. (laughs) 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 Shit. Now I can't find it. All right. No, no, it's not that easy. 
That means you never sent it. <laughs> yeah, I did. No, no, no. No, no, I sent it. I, you know, I, was, I, I hate this when we just, you know, sit here and muse over whether I sent it or not. Well, was it a video uh, of it? A girl at graduation? Yeah, famous graduate, college graduate. Famous, famous college, college graduate. graduate. Yeah. Hold on, Garrett. Rollins College. Okay. Okay. All right, you got it? Yep. Got it? Don't got show it. it to anybody. Nope. All right, hold on. All right. You got it? Hold on. It's just a little like a 30, 40 second, you know, accepted speech. Oh, this uh, she's is the best. Va- no, no, no. Well, Each year, the Holt go. School faculty directors select an outstanding graduating senior to address the graduates. Selection of this outstanding graduate is based on superior academic achievement. All right, stop it right there. Stay where you are. When we come back, you will hear this famous woman graduating this week from a university. And for those of you out there who think, well, with that kind of money and that kind of notoriety, why would she need a college degree? As I've said many times, (laughs) to be an educated citizen. Uh, The woman never has to work another day in her life. She is world famous, and we'll see if you can figure out who it is. We'll be right back. Stay where you're at. Thomas. It's the Jay Thomas Show. Afternoon. The Jay Thomas Show. Are you kidding? We were the hot new thing. Jay Thomas. Afternoon. In Sirius XM 104. As many of you know... You know, Detroit is like gutted. I'm talking about the inner city of Detroit. Then around the area, it's so weird. You you drive out of this burnt out city and you just cross the street, and and these these really nice subdivisions. But you know, you would think a whole city that is dying like Detroit is that even the suburbs would would be look run down. They don't. They're gorgeous. It, you, you wonder, well, how. Where are they? Where are they driving to go get work? You know, I mean, it's odd, and the city itself is completely destroyed. And we were just there uh, for a funeral just a couple of weeks ago, and we met this guy who runs the Heidelberg Project, uh, Tyree um, Guyton, and he does all of this, um, you know, artwork on these on these abandoned houses. Circles, numbers, wild stuff, and he brings all kind of stuff in, abandoned cars, everything, and it goes for like two or three blocks, and it's really wild, and there's just thousands of people there, especially on the weekends, and then as soon as he finishes a house, somebody burns it down, and no one knows who it is, and there's no police, there's no fire department, no nothing, so we're going to talk to him. Uh, Christina, was he okay to talk to, or was he kind of... I actually didn't We're, speak to either of them. I spoke to somebody that handles things like this for them. I only want to talk to Tyree. I don't care if this other person is. You know, I only well, I oh, he's married. Oh, it's probably his wife or whatever. Don't start. Um, you don't know yet. Hold on. And, Garrett, we have Jake Cutler coming on. Yeah, should have had Rodney Lee Conover back on the show. He would have been excited. Rodney doesn't Except like it's to the wrong the Jay Cutler. It, I thought it was the quarterback. It's a bodybuilder. We, we <laughs> got the wrong guy. <laughs> what a perfect name for a bodybuilder, though, huh? Cutler. Jay Cutler. Cutler, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Like, oh, All right, here we go. Mm. Christina and and, uh, and um, Kevin, listen up. Go ahead, run it. Do you want me to play him introducing her or the clip? Does he say her name? Uh, we could just, he's, he's about to say it, so here we go. Yeah, don't say her name. And to the community. Oh, don't say her name? No, they're going to (laughs) guess. That's the game. All right, I'll take my headphones. When I entered my student advisor office in the fall of 2005, I was 25 years old. I just recently moved to America. I was married without children. Today, nine years later, I'm a proud American, and I have two beautiful children. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> but I'm no longer married. <laughs> All right, cut it off. Oh, all right, who is that, Kevin? Uh, Akamant? She is, no, no. She is worth anywhere from 100 to Oh, is it the skinny, skinny girl? 
Skinny Girl Vodka? No. Mm-mm. No, no. This okay. woman wasn't an American. That Skinny Girl Vodka, is, she may be a Jap, but she's not from, you know, Jap, right. Japan. I don't know who it is. Christ- Christina, who is it? Elon Nordegren. That's oh, right. Tiger Woods. Right. Tiger Woods. Right. Tiger Woods uh, ex- she got a degree at Rollins College, yes. and she's the valedictorian. I mean... Uh, that's, and she uh, trashed uh, Tiger during the. No, no, she didn't trash him. That's well, all that's, she said. That's what they're saying. That's no, that's all saying. she said. No, no, she just said I'm not married anymore. Well, all over like, the. Well, the a millionaire, yeah. Yeah, I know it. They're saying that she trashed him. No, she didn't. She that's didn't. all she said. But I'm didn't you see those anymore. headlines all over the place? That yeah. That she trashed yes, Tiger. Who, you know. At yes, the who spread the headlines? Who? Fox News and TMZ said. Really? She didn't say a word she because a word. he's black. Yep. That's why. No. Yeah, that's not the whole thing, because they're anti-black. No, Fox. because of all that shit. All that stupid shit. There goes your chances. How come she doesn't have more gurka 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 in her Well, house. she's been living in Florida. But Christina, they don't listen. Like CNN, they don't yeah. listen. Nobody listens. Yeah. Yeah. Gurka gurka. Dorothy, 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 now is Rollins a good school? Adore, adore. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, oh yeah, it's a private school. It's where Rollins and Jaffe they started. No, it is not, you idiot. <laughs> or I love, I love a friend of mine. Um, he 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 is. Uh, he he had one arm, and Jim he did Abbott? not like. He did not like to wear a. Um, you know, one person that had one arm from fifty years ago. He said their name over and over again. <laughs> Um, no, Marty Nedboy. He had a withered arm from having polio. Oh he did not like to wear a seatbelt. Hey, wait a minute. Frank Pace's wife puts him in the in the car, our buddy's wife, and he's, and she says, put on your seatbelt. And he says, I don't like the seatbelt. I only have one arm. And if anything happens, I won't be able to. This is a true story. Yeah. I won't be able to get the seatbelt over me. I mean, get it off of me. Oh, She says, you've got to put it on. So yeah. he puts the seatbelt on. She parks the car mm-hmm. and does not put the parking brake on. She leaves the car, and the car rolls down a hill. Oh, dear. Strikes a tree and is hanging off of a bridge. I'm not joking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and dangling. <laughs> and he can't get the, <laughs> can't get the seatbelt off. So some guys that were cutting grass or whatever <sighs> came over and... And they jump on the car, and they're trying to help him. And I said, oh, my God, what did they say to you? And he goes, oh, I don't know. They were going, that's all he ever said. <laughs> this is what he imitated a Spanish person. And they saved him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they gave him a hand? He said, look, they gave him a hand. That's um, it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, my God. Well, listen, he should have followed his instincts. Don't He didn't want to wear the seatbelt, you know? When you're right, last you're week, right. Jay, last week, Jay, you had the Mr. Met on. Uh, this comes from Gloria. I used to work for the Seattle Mariners, and we had the Mariner Moose. Mm-hmm. And um, we spread a rumor that the that the moose the the mariner moose was this completely insanely hot chick, so all of these hard dicks would surround the moose and talk to it as if it were a gorgeous woman. All the ball players and the guys that worked there never saw the moose get dressed, and it got so bad the moose couldn't get around the stadium, and of course the moose was never allowed to speak. Inside, it was a male. Mm -hmm. And when they found out it wasn't a her, she was released. (laughs) Wow. How weird is that? Isn't that strange? You know, they all surround the moose and they talk sexually to it. Yeah, they thought it was a woman. I know, but that's so weird. Yeah. You know? Well, and some of the Spanish players would look into its mouth and go, (laughs) In in Pennsylvania, a seven-year-old girl has brought grandma's heroin to her first Oh, I read about that, yeah. Uh, Nine bags of heroin stamped with the words Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret. That's uh, that's not the Philip Seymour Hoffman heroin that we know so well. 
Uh, they searched the home on Saturday night. They found more heroin bags, including an empty one and a child's pair of pants. You know, mm-hmm. there's not enough time you can give a person like. Now, when they say grandmother, of course, you know, she's probably like 45 I was going to say, yeah, no, she's, she's 50, not grandma, she's grandma. She's 55. She's, yeah. Well, whatever. She's younger than I am. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not, you know. Uh, Garrett, I'd like you to look up Wilson Bentley, B-E-N-A-L-L-Y, and Sandra Cruiser, K-R-U-S-E-R. Wilson Bentley, B-E-N-A-L-L-Y, and Sandra Cruiser. Look them up. They were arrested for having sex in the front lawn of a church. Oh, this they is the a psych gag. Show? I, I, was I want say, you. I want you to this? see their pictures. Oh, all gosh. of you out there. Yeah, yeah they're they, horrible. They look, Are they brother and sister? They look alike. <laughs> Wilson Bentley and Sandra Cruiser. They can, can do imagine? Eskimo kisses with their gin blossoms. <laughs> <laughs> Are those the two ugliest fuckers you've ever seen in your life? And I use that term uh, loosely. Stay where you are. He's a great artist, but some critics burn his shit down. All right? Uh, from the blown up city of Detroit. Stay where you are. Jay Thomas. It's the Jay Thomas Show. I'm my own man. I'll run this mother the way I want to. The Jay Thomas Show. Afternoons. The Jay Thomas Show. On Indy. Sirius XM 104. So I was uh, in Detroit with my son, sadly going to the uh, funeral of his uh, mom, and he said, have you ever seen the Heidelberg Project? And I said, no. And so he takes uh, my wife and I into uh, the, you know, kind of burnt out area there of of Detroit, and, and the next thing you know, there's there are these fabulous homes and artworks, uh, the, you know, these, these abandoned homes, but they've been uh, arted up and everything else. If you go to uh, H-E-I-D-E-L-B-E-R-G dot or dot org heidelberg and 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 then tyree uh uh guyton was there tyree how are you how are you doing you know, I'm, I'm doing great and yourself i'm good do you remember the day that uh, my son and my wife and i came to see your your stuff there and i said hey i'll put you on the radio remember that oh absolutely i couldn't wait to go back to share it with my director janine whitfield and she's on the phone too hi Hello, janine how are hi. you good seeing you i'm good how are you Good. So, Tyree, after the riots of, what, 1967, uh, you were in the Army, and tell us the story. You went back to this neighborhood where you were raised, and it was, I didn't know it was that long ago. It, it was bombed out back then? Well, I would say, yeah, it had taken on some changes for the worse, but I decided to create some magic and use my art as a way to transform the neighborhood. Right. Now, after you transform it and you do the, I mean, these are big houses. These aren't little houses. And then, and then they were, they'd be burnt down. I could see your artwork was there. And then, I mean, when I say burnt down, I mean burnt down to, you know, level ground. Uh, I mean, who, who, who does that after you do this improvement thing, Tyree? You know, somebody well, that's part hates of the improvement. Life. life? And you have that's to it. learn from it. And you have to make really? the best of it. And what I'm <laughs> able to see and what I'm able to do is to see through what most people see as you know, burnt, burnt building, I yeah. see the possibilities of what can come out of it. Hmm. Well, now, now, Janine, you're the director of the thing. He does a big house, and he does all these, you know, uh, um, kind of abstract and wonderful, you know, it's indescribable, a lot of it. He does all kind of incredible things, and there are two or three blocks there. Who do you think's burning these houses down? Just some some idiots in the in the neighborhood, Janine? Well, you know, I don't know. We don't know. And, um, hmm. you know, it's just something that's happened. But, you know, in the history of the Heidelberg Project, it's not the first time that we have been, you know, we've experienced kind of like, you know, um, a knocking down. You know, the city of Detroit twice destroyed the Heidelberg Project in 91 and again in 1999. They so, came so- and knocked the houses down that were that were arted up? That's right. That's right, because the Heidelberg Project is a very profound and powerful statement huh. on many different levels. 
you know, it's also I, a form I, of protest too, isn't it? Well, you know, it depends. The viewer can take away many different things, but what we're about is using art and creativity as a means to help restore a sense of health and hope and economic stability back into a neighborhood mm-hmm. and a community. We get two hundred seventy. So weird. I mean, coming through there a year. Coleman Young was the mayor back then. So, so, and I'm, you know, here I am. I'm a guy from New Orleans. So, the people have all sorts of projects going there too. You know, uh, you'll see a house that's painted various colors, and and no one would go and knock it down. Especially the mayor. The mayor wouldn't right. drive up to it and go, "Oh, look, this guy has, you know, painted these things, you know, like like a Mondrian, or and it's got like some really interesting art. Let's." Let's knock it down. Did you ever go face to face with the mayor, Tyree? Did he ever actually look at your work and you said, "Why are you knocking my my stuff down?" Uh, I would have to say yes. I I met him, but I'm going to share something something with you, and I hope you can understand this. Sir. I yeah. met him on one hand. On another hand, he had to do what he thought was best for the people. At the same time, me being an artist, you have to educate the world. And that's what I'm doing. Now, when they knock a house down, though, did they build some really nice house where your art house was? No, they didn't, but I chose to do something very magnificent. I chose. <laughs> uh-huh. I see the importance of helping people to understand the importance of change and change yeah. with the time. So every time they decided to tear it down, I did something else. Also, John F. Kennedy said, it's not what your country can do for you, or what can you do for your country. I'm doing something for the world. That's what I'm doing every day. Wait, but if the, but you don't, do you come out and your place is on fire, or the city knocks it down? Do you cry? Do you get upset? You you worked your ass off. It's not it's not easy what you do. You're doing a whole big painting. You must get on a big ladder and paint this walls and the top and the outside, and you got shoes all over the place and. <laughs> Yeah. You know, you take wrecked cars, you do, I mean, it's, 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 it's a, it's a huge, uh, world renowned art project, and then they knock it down and they burn it. Do you, do you weep over that? I, well, let me share this with you. I'm going to be honest. I've done all of that. I have weeped. All right. I, I, you know, the pain has been excruciating. Not knowing and all of that, but then you get over it and you move on and you see something greater and you go inside of yourself. And you find a strength within to move ahead. And keep in mind, too, Tyree, I mean, I think it's important for the, the listeners to know that in the end, it's really not so much about the things that we're recycling as much as it is uh, recycling the power of the human spirit and resiliency and getting up and learning mm-hmm. from. Mm-hmm. I think y'all need a gun and shoot somebody next time he tries to burn one of your art projects down. How about that? We'll leave that to you. <laughs> All right. I'd put. Why don't you put a camera up? Or like somewhere, and hook it to well, your computer or whatever. We're you know? going to educate you right now, and Jenny, I think you need to share with them what's happening. Yeah, we have a state-of-the-art security plan that includes um, over ten cameras and new solar lights. How about that? Mm-hmm. Don't tell mm-hmm. anyone though. Oh yeah, well, now they're going to know and not yeah. going to burn it down. Well, you got to see it. You got to find the cameras. They'll find you, but you can't find them. <laughs> mm-hmm. right, now, okay. now, listen to this. May third, two thousand thirteen. One of his famous homes, obstruction of justice house, destroyed by fire at three thirty in the morning. No one knows. November um, uh, twelfth, two thousand thirteen. The house of soul. Now, these are these. I would say these are probably like close to three thousand square foot homes, burnt to the ground. Um, the suspected uh, cause is is so is arson, but no one's been arrested. November twenty first, two thousand thirteen, the Penny House was burned to the ground. The War House on November twenty eighth burned to the ground. December eighth, the Clock House, which is one of my favorite ones, where you painted or you put clocks, Tyree, all over the house. Right? You put clocks everywhere. How many clocks did you do? Oh, I I tell you, I lost count. Like like. Hundreds of clocks, Kevin. Mm-hmm. Kevin, I mean, yeah. it's worth flying to Detroit yeah. and and driving to see what Tyree has done. No, I'd I'm love to see about it. I'd... Clocks everywhere, and he, mm-hmm. and he and he has like a smaller version of it. Somebody came and 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 burnt it down. The party animal house, the doll house, had how many dolls do you think he used on the doll house? Oh man, we had so many dolls up there, and uh, 
I, I don't even know. But when you finish, I'm going to share something with you. Sounds like a good coffee table book, though, with all the houses, you know. <laughs> Well, the houses, and then sadly, you know pictures of them, and then the you know then you see the before, yeah. and then the burnt, and then it's all in the it, coffee table book. It seems like it might be one person, Tyree. Yes, I think it is uh, one person. You know what? I I, I don't know, but I want to. It's say, probably a relative. Uh, let's go a little deeper than that. You know, let's 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 put on our thinking caps here. You know, I sit here and I listen to you. Now we have yeah. talked about the bad. Now, let's talk about the good that's, that's coming out of it as I speak. Let's talk yeah. about the power that I have found in myself to turn that around and do something greater. Now, think about okay. that. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to do something greater. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I, you know what? I, I, I mean, were you an angry young man, and then as you've grown older, you've become a benevolent older artist because I, I don't know how you I still get uh, have that benevolence in your heart. That's why you're having this conversation with me today so I can share with you how that's right. done. It has right. everything right. to do with time. It has everything to do with elevating your consciousness to realize that everybody in the world is going through something and finding the good within yourself that you can share with the world. That's what I'm doing today, and what I have said. Yeah, you can burn it all down, and I'm going to do something else. I want wow. to stop. Huh? Because yeah. of what's in me. All right. Well, uh, for those of you that want to help, go to the Heidelberg, uh, dot org. Uh, uh, Janine Whitfield, thank you very much. By the way, uh, this is not just, you know, in the streets over there. Uh, you know, the, the College for Creative Studies in Detroit has, has shown this, and I think uh, you studied there, uh, awarded a, a, an honorary doctorate of fine art, the uh, University of Michigan Museum of Art, the Studio Museum of Harlem, the Detroit Institute of Arts, and many, many others have uh, celebrated this project. I've never seen anything uh, like it. I wanted to bring you on the air. Um, well, people you know, are trying to burn is, it down. They don't want you to see it. You know, I guess not. Uh, Janine, you know, this is kind of a comedy show, and we talk about a lot of silly stuff, but it makes me mad that somebody is um, burning burning this stuff down. Burning down the house. Months of, of hard work and everything mm -hmm. else. It makes me want to. no possibilities. All right. Well, that's good. That's Jean, good. Janine, do you ever get sick of that creating new possibilities and want to say get a stick and hit the guy in the head with a torch? Well, you know, I've been there. <laughs> And I, I have to say that, no, I'm more into the new possibilities as well. I have okay. to say that. Yeah, but I was pissed. Don't get me wrong. Sure. We're human. Sure. Of course we were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we can't okay. live there, as Tyree said. If anybody's near Detroit, and it's, I don't know how far it is from the airport, but it's not far. And it's called the Heidelberg uh, Project. It's really cool. Now, at, you live there, don't you, Tyree? You live in one of those houses, don't you? Uh, my mom does. I'm, I'm not too far from the project. I, yes, I right. grew up here on Heidelberg Street. My mom lives here now. Does she have yeah. a, uh, smoke alarms in her house and fire, fire alarms? Oh, my mom is ready, my friend. She's okay. Ready. She's got a cannon in the house. Good. <laughs> okay, I love you, Mark. All right. Tyree, thank you very right. much. And Janine, thank, thank you. And thank all you kidding aside, go online. You'll see uh, crazy stuff. Thank you very much. It's fantastic. Bye. Well, bye. bye. Now, you see that? that uh, mm -hmm. he's, too, he's, he's almost too wonderful for me, you know? Yeah. Almost too wonderful. Christina, did you go online and look at any of the artwork when you were uh, researching this project? Did you look at it? Did you see any other stuff? I did a little bit of um, of looking, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looked very he, uh, hey dash berry. Yeah. yeah, he took like a thousand single shoes mm -hmm. and strung them up all around, you know, one house. He did another house in baby dolls and all sorts of teddy bears and stuff. I'm talking about like the you roof. You think people are like, you know, going, you know, this, I'm sorry, but this is really bad and this just needs to be burned down. Maybe so. Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't like the, you know, it's <laughs> like. This is ruining so sad the when ghetto. They take stuff away from, from the cult when they take the culture away because I live in Queens mm -hmm. and they yeah. had Five Points, which was a giant building that was, um, you know, dedicated oh, yes. to graffiti, graffiti art. Right. And yeah, it was, and I know how you feel about graffiti, Jay, but it wasn't 
It wasn't like yeah, that was a, a really of, that was a very cool. No, question. not it if it's one building. Sense. Not if it's one building and san- sanctioned. We have yeah. it underneath the uh, some of the some of the overpasses and stuff. It's the tagging I hate. Yeah, it's not tagging. nonsense tagging. It's beautiful pieces of art that people spend right. a lot of time with, and they just took all of that down. And it just makes me so sad because people would come from all over just to see it, and it's a part yeah, of our they culture. they take it down. Somebody I, somebody bought the building. Yeah. So and, I, and now and, it's just and it's gone. their property, and they it was up to them. They 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 took it back. So it's their building. It's very Weird, sad. You know. Very sad. Yeah. But, Weird. Okay. Well, but there's pictures uh, of it, and it can be a coffee there table. There are pictures book. of it all over my Facebook page, actually, oh. because before it went, I said, "No, no, no, I have to go and mm-hmm. capture this moment." A new report. This, other, this, moment. this is the this is the other <laughs> side of of Detroit. Uh, a new cool way in Detroit to get high is called beezin. Mm-hmm. You take bird, birds, bees, Chaps, wax, yeah, you know, the, the chapstick. chapstick. What? Mm-hmm. Yes. And yeah. what do you do? Well, I'm, let's go around the horn. Oh, my God. Because my daughter it, is always with these uh, chapstick. You put it onto a very sensitive part of the body, but it is not your uh, vagina or testicles. Uh, Garrett, do we have around the horn music? Sorry. <laughs> what was that? What was that? All right. Is Garrett in the studio or are you running oh, the yes, board? Oh, yes, Garrett's in the on? studio. All right. All right. So, uh, Garrett, do you know what I'm talking about? Or, I just uh, stepped you... in. Oh, you just stepped yeah. in. Here we go. Uh, Burt's Bees Wax mm-hmm. is being applied to, I would say, one of the um, most sensitive and yet strongest parts of the body, mm-hmm. and it gets it gets you stoned. Mm-hmm. It's called beezin, but it's not the vagina, it, uh, it's and it's not mm-hmm. the testicles. What is it, uh, Christina? Where do they put it? The elbow. Mm. On the elbow. Very sensitive, the elbow, because the, because the crazy bone, the funny bone is there. Yes. Right, right. The crazy funny bone. Exactly uh, Garrett, what, what do you? Thinking. Where do you think it's put, Garrett? Where do you think it's put? Underneath the tongue. Underneath. Under the, the tongue. tongue. Yeah, you rub so the wax. Nice. Yeah. You a little wax. wax your tongue, and there it is. A little wax. And now there. let's go to the king of the haha seat, Kevin Meany. I would uh, have to where say. Where do you? I would have to say Tell the me anus. A joke, comedian. <laughs> Put it right on the butthole. <laughs> right, the anus, yeah. Right the there, butthole. right there in the old potato rack. <laughs> The new cool way to get high is beezin, or the act of putting Burt's Bees lip balm wax on the eyelids. Oh. Oh. I used to the know a guy that used to put cocaine in his eye. Instead yeah, well, of, instead of uh, sniffing it, he would open his eye all the way and then take oh. the dab it and put it right in his eye. Stevie Wonder? And No, he oh. wasn't Stevie, but he was, a, he was studying to be a doctor. So he kept them up? Yeah, well, you know, he was. Yeah, uh, how do you? I mean, I it think goes right to your system. Right eye, to your system. Well, well you, you mentioned the, the butthole, but I remember years ago that's where you'd put it, and then oh, that's where Liza used to do her coke. She's hey, always you have ease it on down, Garrett. Yeah, she down. did. She was like, <laughs> because I don't want to do it on my what on my nose do? because it it ruins the cords. Well, wait, it ruins the yes. cords. So I put it right in my ass. In the it goes immediately. It just makes it numb. No, the yeah, hole? but it also oh, goes, sure. it does make it you goes into your system yeah. immediately, but it's also dangerous. It is How dangerous. about the kids that are taking alcohol in their butt? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. they, they yeah. Yeah. what do they, they do? They also put it in their eyes. I you like know what, that. Garrett? I was born too soon. Mm-hmm. Born too <laughs> soon. Born too kids soon. say the sensation of the Burt's beeswax uh-huh. on the eyelids uh, causes a disorientation similar to being drunk or stoned. And it even strengthens their attention span. Wow, I'm gonna get some. I already wow. have some. I'll bring it in tomorrow. It's a, like an eye job, you know. And You're gonna, I'm gonna have my mine eyes. Mine has done. a tint in it, so it could make us look like yeah. we have ma- makeup on. My version. What's, the, I, I, yeah. what's like the original rose? purpose? Uh, to it's chapstick for your, li- for your chapstick. Balm. Oh. Yeah. So it's probably just minty, and they're getting no, it on their eyes. No, but it's not minty. I mean, it's some of it. I guess it's medicated, but it's not. Like I thought a, it was inside like the eyelid, but it's outside. It oh, it's outside the eyelid. Yeah, I thought inside. it was inside, but oh, it's outside. I wouldn't anything. want to put anything. Well, I don't know. We'll we'll find. We'll let Christina do it all. We'll yeah. put it everywhere on yeah. her tomorrow. Everywhere. I'm going to put oh. it in my anus, though. 
Not all of my you. trouser. We do it all. You're not, do everything. And I, you know what, Garrett? Your anus. Just and, if and I use my Garrett, finger. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Garrett, I'm going to get some blue chair rum and put it up your ass, okay? <laughs> Mine or Kevin's? <laughs> Yours. Oh, oh, come on. Name. I want something in my bum. When you do some, that, do you use a funnel? Some blue chair coconut rum from last week. I want week. coconut was rum delicious. in my butt. It was, yeah. <laughs> Just imagine when it goes directly into the anal cavity. Oh, uh, Rich of Michigan, uh, have you been to that Heidelberg project there in Detroit? Have you been there? Uh, no, I haven't been there, but I do a lot of deliveries around Detroit, and uh, the rumor is is that he burns the houses down himself. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. I can wow. see that. Oh, that's great. Wow. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking now, that they're burning the houses down because it's a anti-Semitic. They think it's all Jewish. Hold on. It's you know? alleged. It's, it's alleged. alleged. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's alleged. Now, Rich. But he sounded like deliver, an arsonist to me. You he deliver did. all over Michigan. You need to get yep. your wife and kids and go see this thing. It's fantastic. I can't tell you how cool it is. It's and then beautiful. burn it down. And, and it's totally safe. <laughs> and you... And you, and you Everything and on listen, the website was like, be careful where you park, make sure you don't leave this one little no, area, don't no, trust no. anyone. If someone walks up to you, <laughs> run away. He's no, smoking. it was fine. <laughs> it was right. fine. Bye. Now, here's the other Bye. thing. Bye. There's a white guy who's <laughs> <smoking>. into Jesus. <laughs> he took over a house, and he has his Jesus shit there, Ooh. which kind of ruined it. But, um, oh. but, 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 but this guy that we just had on, Tyree, it really is cool, Rich. Nobody will fool okay, with you. Well, Go on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, nobody will fool with you. You remember when you and Garrett were so walking So you think that the Tyree Street? guy burns it to... He was kind of relaxed, yeah. wasn't he? He sounded like a fire starter, arsonist guy. No, no. He did. That's my opinion. I don't get paid, but it just sounds like he's... Hey, Garrett, you know what I'm going to do up your ass? I'm going to muddle some strawberries. What's wrong with my He's hands? such a closeted gay man. It's not even funny anymore. Listen, no, I'm, I'm gay, so and I've never obvious. muddled strawberries on anybody. No, so yeah, I have my notes left closeted. over from when the, the, uh, the, the mixologist came on. So, uh, Rich, has anybody ever muddled a strawberry and put it up your ass, Rich? Good question. Uh, no, not at this point in my life, no. Well, you're no. really missing out. Well, right. Welcome aboard. What's a beeswax yeah. back there? Do you right, nickname you, your bro. penis the pestle? <laughs> the pistol. Right. Here we go. Uh, Maureen says, Jay, every time I hear Garrett speak on your show, in my mind, I see Murray from the Mary Tyler Moore show. Interesting. I don't. I can Murray. see that. I see it. I say you're a little Murray. No, no, no. The guy Murray himself. But he thought I had a talk yeah. like. Now, now, what was his name? He played Captain Gavin Stupid. McLeod. Yeah, Gavin McLeod. He was a great I actor. Think he, I think he played for your team also. No, he did not. He was not. Oh, gay. he did. No, he was not gay. <laughs> he did. I believe he did. No, he was not. He was not I gay. I believe he did. I believe. What? I believe Everybody's gay to you. Everybody's gay. No, no, no. no. That's because I, he's I gay. Did theater. Yeah. I did. Realized it. Yeah. I. He stayed married a long time, and he was very religious, uh, but he seemed to be to have a bit of the limp, limp wristness to him. Mm, really? Uh, dear Jay, you haven't said one thing. Um, gosh, who, who does this come from? Babe. My name's Babe. Babe. You mentioned nothing about George Clooney and Amal uh, Alamudin. Mm -hmm. They're being engaged. Yep. Well, I'll tell you exactly why he's with her. Mm -hmm. She is fucking brilliant and she's attractive. She's his I'm sure she's got hair everywhere. Mm -hmm. Right. I agree. He's 53. Mm -hmm. She's really beautiful. She's not a former pro wrestler or whoever else he, all those models and everything else. Um, I believe she is an attorney, but she's also she's an author. Yeah, she writes books on physics and things, doesn't she? Yeah, I believe that she's attractive, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. It, when I met um, my wife, I remember thinking, "Wow, she's attractive, she's fun to sleep with, and she's really smart." Mm -hmm. And you go, "Wow, I'm you know I'm I'm you know gonna get married." That's what and, I said, and, and that I, was I did it. the well, same course, thing. She's attractive. Yeah, and, she was well, smart. You add, and she's so stupid, she doesn't know I'm gay. No. She'll defend yeah. that to the death. She, she, she really? would go, sure nobody she nobody thought you were gay. We all knew it, you Oh, idiot. you were a Monday morning you. quarterback. God, you know nothing. Garrett, I what comic came in here and didn't say they knew he was gay for 30 years? Uh, I think his name was Every Comic. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that's... He's 52... <laughs> My mom, my mom always says, I saw Kevin Meany when he wasn't gay. She says that all the time because yeah. she saw you live a long time yeah. ago. So I, my mom was fooled. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you very much. Everyone was She's on his then. level. 
That's why. No one thought Liberace was gay back in the... I would did not come shit. up during Liberace. Oh, please. Everyone just... Charge. It's like, oh, he's charge, just a single man. Bring, George, bring me my candlesticks, well, That's what people charge. said about George Clooney, too. No, he's George. just a confirmed Oh, stop. Bachelor. Charles Nelson Riley. no one assumed he was gay. Oh, please. He wasn't gay. Now they do, but not, you know, no. when he was on Match Game. Yeah, yeah we, we all up. did. No. They just... No, my mother would say, oh, my God, he's a fairy. That's what they would say. <laughs> Yeah, they have, bro. Going to a home. new study is proving that divorce is contagious. You know That's this, true. Don't you, yes. Four of my friends out of nine of us yep. are divorced. Yeah. No, no, but when one Who's gets credit? divorced, the other ones go, hey. Yeah, I'm joining that club. I'm going to go down <laughs> yep. that route, too. I did the same 75 thing. 75% of people mm -hmm. who got divorced mm -hmm. said, yes, somebody else got divorced that I knew or was in my family or yep. whatever, and it gave me the courage to dump you know my my problem i remember yeah. my best friend and i we were both married and miserable and we used to sit together and she would drink coffee and i would we would just be there and she'd be like i swear to god don't don't get divorced before me and i'm like i can't help it if it's happening it's happening we used right. to coach each other and talk to each other about what time was going to be the time that we were going to drop the bomb and all that kind of stuff Mm -hmm. When did you drop the bomb? What was it? A Friday? I was on, when they, when yeah, they fire you? Friday, Friday, Friday yeah. uh, afternoon, driving home right. from here wow. to Pennsylvania on the Verrazano Bridge. You're looking in the car. What? Take no, the car no, and no, ram it on the phone. The passenger the phone. Very side. good on the phone. Then I then I picked up what? my best one of my best friends in New Jersey, and I said, "Hey, what are you doing this weekend?" And she was like, "Nothing." I was like, "Oh, come to PA with me." And I drove her a little bit up the, uh, and I was like, "Put your best friend pants on," because I just told him I wanted a divorce. She was like, "Turn this fucking car around," but no, that didn't happen. You did it over the phone. That's yes, so mean. It, it's no, not, over it the wasn't planned. That's what Garrett. the phone it is for. It was not planned. I called him to tell him that I was going to be late because there was traffic. He started screaming, and I just said, "I want a divorce. I can't take it anymore." Oh, so you snapped? Yeah. Yeah, but that's what the phone but is for. The phone is for stuff. bad news. You don't need to be in front of somebody to tell them the bad news. Oh, and you then I tell them over I the thought phone. she did it in the car. I would have no aimed her side of the car at a tree and killed her. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Why? I didn't. I didn't need anything from him. I I walked in the house. I gave. I put his ring on the table, and that was it. You gave Not him the ring back? Yeah. Why? Because I wanted a divorce. What am I going to keep it for? You were it's married a, for a like a year. Exactly. And That's I wanted the ring. divorce. He didn't cheat on me. He didn't beat on me. So there's no reason for me cheat to Cheat or beat. Yeah, there's no reason for me to keep the ring. Skeet on you? Skeet, skeet. To the window. <laughs> skeet on you? To the wall. <laughs> was it skeet? Jay, you there? Skeet means that you poop. <laughs> well, you sent me Close. You sent me something that I'm, <laughs> I'm having trouble believing. Um, <laughs> Ann Coulter has gone online and has selfies of herself. No, kind of okay. What? Let me clear it, it up for you. What? There was one what? selfie that she posted of herself, kind of emulating what um, Michelle Obama was. Because there was Hashtag a photo. Hashtag bring back our country, imitating Michelle Obama doing it for the kidnapping. Bring yes. back our girls. Yeah. Yes. So then yeah. the internet went crazy with Photoshop and Photoshop. Oh, hashtag I suck. Yeah. Hashtag, I wish I could kidnap and sell all the girls in Nigeria. Hashtag, bring back traditional white America. Oh, these pe people made this. Oh, okay. okay. Hashtag, Hitler did nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, you know, he's got AIDS. <laughs> he's got AIDS. You know what? It's a big deal. Of course, I would never know how to do anything like this. No, so, you wouldn't. So when I see it, I'm always amazed. Um, they did know, it to Michelle said, Obama, too. With her side. Oh, they did? Oh, what yeah. were the other ones that they did for her? Oh, I don't. Bad. Yeah. Evil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like racist. Mm -hmm. Racist bad. Yeah. But didn't this group also abduct 50 boys, and then they also went into a town and shot up the whole town? No, they didn't abduct them. They killed them. And, but no one says anything about it's just about yeah, the girls? They, they, well, it's no, all they about murdered the girls. The boys. Well, it is, but they murdered the boys. They murdered the boys. So yeah, well, they, we so can't no. bring back the boys, so let's bring back the girls. Oh, okay. Well, Holcomb They're Barkham. Dead. The boys Holcomb are dead. Barkham means... Was he a third-round pick in Holcomb. the NFL draft? <laughs> <laughs> Holcomb Barkham, whatever it is, it means don't educate women in their language. Yeah. That's the name of their group. What about What is but, good luck, Jonathan? It's like saying. if I went online and I went like this, hi, I'm, you know, I'm... I'm don't educate women. That's that's the name of my group. Right. 
I'm but the leader what's of the no president's name in Nigeria? Isn't it Good Luck Jonathan? Uh, Jonathan, uh, good boy. Um, no, Good Luck. I think it's Good Luck Good Luck Jonathan. Jonathan. His yeah. name is Good Luck Jonathan. Right. He's from Gilbertsville. <laughs> yeah, they have a general that was Mosquito, and then the guy that caught the general, they call him Mosquito Net. Oh, and that's a real name, really. You know, know they're English code no, names. It is. Yeah. Yes, I swear to God, there's that's general it. like butt sex or something like that. No, there, there is not. I swear to you, that's in an this, uncle of mine. In this terrorist group, yes, an uncle they, daddy. They take like these uncle like sex. strong American English words, but they don't really general like, butt sex. It's something like that. <laughs> it sounds I'm gonna, better when you I'm say gonna it, look babe. that up. Yes, um, you are. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this comes from somebody named Inbox. <laughs> That's the Attorney General of Virginia. Inbox. But sex. Jay, but sex. you didn't say anything about the death of the man that published Mad Magazine. All right. Yeah, yeah, I saw that he died. One of the funniest features ever was in 1996, you and Richard Dreyfus were featured in a cartoon version of Mr. Holland's opus called Mr. Holland's Old Puss, where, <laughs> where you are accused of fucking Mr. Holland's <laughs> wife. Yes, it's a great one. Mr. Oh, that's Holland. fantastic. You know what, really? Christina, look it up. i find it right Mr. now. Mr. Holland's Old Puss. Oh, that's brilliant. And wait till you see the pictures. That should be put yeah. up on your website, okay? I think it might be. I think Good. it might be there. Yeah. I was wrong. Well, I actually... General what? Butt Naked. I apologize. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> From Liberia. Okay. Thank you, Murray. The most evil man in the world. Murray. Blue. Murray. <laughs> oh. Oh. Murray. Oh, Murray. Uh, this comes <laughs> from Wiley Coyote. Oh. Jay, have you ever seen the Family Guy bit where I win? Gary, do you have the, the uh, Family Guy bit where Wiley e. Coyote wins? By the way, one of my favorite cartoons ever. Yes. Have you ever seen it, uh, great, great Kevin? Cartoon. Where Wiley e. Coyote, w that, where he wins? No, I don't think I've ever saw that. I've never seen the one. Can you find it, Garrett? It's, um, He's vicious like typing. Yeah, He's yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess I could send it to you, but I'm not sure how to do that. Lifting up the big rock. It doesn't look like Wiley Coyote. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I did it. He's under there. I got him. I killed him. I fucking got him. <laughs> Jesus, I'm going to need a shovel. Mm. Oh, this is delicious. I, I mean... You know, it's like when you work for your meal, when you really work for it, it just tastes that much better, you know? <laughs> so, what are you going to do now? Huh. Never really thought about it. I've been chasing this damn bird for 20 years. I'm not really trained for anything else. I guess I kind of let my life get away from me. <laughs> well, I'm sure something will turn up. A few weeks later. <laughs> Striking a beer. Watching TV. Yeah. How you, uh, the Roadrunner Skull on the TV set. <laughs> He's just bored. Okay, uh, that's a pastrami on rye, uh, pasta salad, uh, two Diet Cokes. No, 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 it was one Coke and one Diet Coke. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Well, we've been waiting an hour. I know, I'm sorry. What the hell kind of place is I'm it? I'm sorry, I got you, I'm sorry, all right? I'm just having some fucking identity issues right now, and I, I can't think straight, and I, just get off my back, because you don't know what it's like. Wiley? You're fired. <laughs> His life is ruined. There's no reason Mom to go on leaving. Fucking forgive me for this. <laughs> Puts himself in a catapult, chasing a rock wall. <laughs> and then, all of a sudden, it hit me. I knew who I wanted to be. And I untied myself from that catapult, and here I am. Well, that is such a relief. I know, I know. So, if you have about 45 minutes, I'd like to talk to you about the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Aww. That's funny. There's going to be a funny. Simpsons Family Guy crossover soon. Mm. Oh, I love it. Mm. Great. I love it. 15 years like too late. late. <laughs> <laughs> On the cover of People magazine, they have the kidnap uh, victim um, 
Michelle Knight, one of the women that was held. Oh, yes. She's put um, on a lot of weight. She's huge. She has piercings all over mm -hmm. her face and lips. Well, not all over. It's, it's, it's uh, tastefully done. She has a couple and of piercings. And she's fully, fully tattooed. Tattooed everywhere. Really? Everywhere. And she's changed her name to Lily. I like that. Yeah. Um, and and when you read this article, what's so strange about it is they keep asking her, well, why did you trust this guy? Did you know that this guy was the dad of one of her friends? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what happened to that girl? What? That girl knew she was kidnapped. Yeah, but they didn't know who did it. They just know her friend got kidnapped one day. Well, well, where was the girl never visited her dad, I take it? No. Not oh, in that no. house. Nobody was ever allowed in that house. No, people I visited that house, but he had them in the basement, and he would threaten if they said anything, he yeah. would, you know, kill their family or whatever because he would say he knew where their family lived. Yeah. Oh, all right. And they had a baby uh, well, to hold over their head, too, uh, you know? God. Oh, yeah, and he would kick her in the stomach after she got pregnant. Did he die, Castro? Yeah, he yeah. killed himself. He, he killed himself. It. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then um, Ariel. Here's, Ariel one, here's one of his quotes. This is what he said to me. be a good coffee book. table book, his quotes. I wish I'd gotten to that little John Bonet Ramsey first. <laughs> wow, that's a Jesus. strange quote. <laughs> here's another one. You ready? He really said that? No. No, That's what didn't. she says, he said. That's Who knows? She said Here's another oh, one. Oh, good. I could really give it to that Elizabeth Smart a lot better than the guy that took her. Really? Mm. I know, I know. I know I'm a sick man. I hate how I am now. Oh, you are God. sick, I said. Yeah. But there's help for people like you. Why don't you let me go get you some help? What did he he say? thought about it for a minute, yeah. as if he were thinking about mm -hmm. it. Then he frowned. Um, I can't do that. <laughs> You're going to have to stay with me for a while. I began to cry. That's from her book. Oh, yeah. God, that's a great book. I gotta he gave her that. a notebook and, and <laughs> gave them notebooks and pens uh, to write in the notebooks. So they would write all kind of stuff in the notebook saying how horrible he was. Yeah. He would come down, get the notebook, and go, Quit writing this terrible shit about me. <laughs> I mean, it's horrible. You know. Oh, God. Christina. He kept her chained and fed her stale pizza and spoiled beans. What a dick. And oh, made her terrible. wear a helmet so that no one could hear her scream. <laughs> oh. Really? You go with wow. a helmet? <laughs> Are you just ball of, gag her? Why would you put a helmet kind of on a her? helmet? Would you just shove her head into the like wall? Like a motorcycle helmet with the, uh, with the... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, visor. yeah with the visor. That's exactly right, with a visor. Yeah. He, she, he oh, it was like, probably so like, heavy for her hot. head. She looked yeah. like V. Stiffiano. <laughs> <laughs> How bad did that basement smell? Three girls oh, yeah. eating spoiled beans. Oh, and shitting. Was this, I'm farting. Was this where they, they have... I don't know if I'm confusing this with Law & Order Special Victims Unit, but... <laughs> When they <laughs> cut out a hole in like a lawn chair and then they put a bucket in the bottom, so I that think they could... yeah, that's TV. Yeah, that oh. looks like Law and Order. Okay. Yeah. Did he have her in a I... bell and he made her put lotion on her skin? I forget. Am I confusing yes. that? Right. That's that's how, right. I mean, how else would you make somebody poop? Like an old ratty lawn chair? Uh, the squatty potty. I pounded, I pounded <laughs> the back of my helmet against the pole I was chained to. I rattled my chains and hoped a neighbor would hear and call nine one one. Rattling the chains. Wow. Oh, how um, this girl is still alive and speaking. And she's really the only well, one that uh, goes out minute. there and does like a wait little... Wait a minute. Uh, she uh, had had a kid that uh, family services had taken away before she was killed. Right, yes. And they will never give her the child back. Now, how old is that? The kid is uh, probably... Uh, she well, was 10. 13, yeah, at least yeah. 10. 10. So how long was she? And they there? won't give the kid. They won't give her the kid back. Why no. is that? <laughs> oh, gee, I don't know. Was she a bad mom? Oh, she's not. I'm sure she's not a better one now. If you know what I'm saying, okay. Well, what yeah. what, what did she do? She did, she was kidnapped for ten years. Yeah, well, that doesn't help you. Any in the mother department. Wouldn't you love me in the in the in the department of? I think she used to write uh, her kid letters. I think. 
From yeah, pretend letters. Pretend and letters. She pretend yeah. she was kissing him. Um, she watched oh, a lot of TV. God, what was her favorite? Whatever show? you do, she would tell the other girls, "Don't let the dude catch you watching black people on TV." Always like uh, Sperling. But we really like to watch Sterling. the Fresh Prince of <laughs> Bel Air. Oh damn! But when he came around, she didn't like Uncle hurry, Buck. That was about the we same hurry time. Up, no, we hurry up and turned it to Friends. There were no. There's wow. only one black person in Friends, and that wasn't until they almost were done. Yeah. Well, no, you couldn't. You couldn't have it. That was hamburger, right? Was it me on Friends? Yeah. Hamburger. Too. He locked all three of us in the basement one day, and they heard visitors' Magic. Magic voices was upstairs Friends. asking what was downstairs, and he said the downstairs is full of water. It was the first time that all three of us had been in, left in the room together, and we were frightened to death to yell and scream. Wow. So they might have been the cops. Oh, God. Right. Um, man, oh, man. Now, Christina, she's written a book. Her name is Michelle Knight. Maybe yeah. we can get her on. I don't know. All right. Yeah, no. I'd, I'd love to hear from her. You're pretty wild. She's uh, pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. She's a big celebrity now. I don't know if she's going to do this show. You think we'll, we'll be able to get her? Really? I don't know. Tell her we'll give know. her a free... Uh, a free tweeze. She needs those eyebrows. Tweeze. I mean, her, if we get know. her, the chances of us keeping her. No, 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 no. I wouldn't be rude to her. No, no. I'm saying before she even got here. What do you mean? I'm yeah. just joking. Oh, you mean them? Yeah. You Sometimes mean they listen and, and yeah, right. they go around yeah. snooping oh, they and listen. they're like, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. I don't want to well, do it. I bet she has a sense of humor, though, Michelle Knight. She does. No, I don't think so. She does. I can see no. it. I, she no. Does. I can see it. I can see it. I, <laughs> no. I like her. I like her a lot. Is that lot. your professional opinion as yes. a comedian, that she has a I sense of humor? Yes. I don't Absolutely. Think she, I don't think she has a sense of humor. Yes, she, she does. Like she the probably Joan did it one time. She well, did not like jo the Joan Rivers. Show. What did Joan say? Oh, she that, said something. Her, uh, <laughs> the place she was vacationing with her daughter smaller than, was smaller than yeah. the room that they were held in. And and Joan wasn't about to apologize either. She did not. Which I love she, Joan yeah, for that. Die, she, I'm not so. apologizing. I'm not. Well, I'm not. Really? Since my husband, Edgar, committed suicide, <laughs> I do not apologize for anyone. But the host of the Today Show apologized for her. That oh, doesn't please. He what did. About, what did, he did they ever apologize Ooh, to Matt Lauer? Will Geist or whatever? Willie Geist, I oh, love him. Please. He's handsome. He like was like, if that is even a joke, will we apologize on her behalf? It was like, Who's she doesn't want to be apologized. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you apologize for Hitler while you're at it? <laughs> and Castro. <laughs> yeah. And Stalin. Yeah. All of them. And apologize for Kim all Jong of them. Un. All Jim, of them. John would just love to be in that group. Keith Crisco was 400 votes away mm. from overtaking Clay Aiken for the for the just the Democratic. Can't you believe his name is Crisco? Crisco and Aiken. He slipped. Mr. Crisco slipped, hit his head in his head. <laughs> Do you know this, Kevin? Yes, yes I read about it. And Clay Aiken. Um, uh, Said he was a good and honorable man, and he, he will was. not campaign any longer. And Clay Aiken <laughs> will run against the Republican. Uh, the, I got to tell you something. Uh, they ought to fly Michael Sam in there and have him just tongue Clay Aiken <laughs> and just really make sure nobody votes for him. Uh, in North Why? Carolina. Why no, don't you want Clay no Aiken in there? No one will vote for him. I no bet they listen. Him. He's a good man, no. Clay Aiken. Maybe so. He has uh, he's all not, that notoriety. A gay country singer American is Idol. not going to win Why in not? North Carolina. A movie star became president yeah. of the United States. He didn't kiss people, kiss men, and have beeswax up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. You know, Richard Clay Nixon Aiken was uh, he was having sex with B.B. Rebosa, wasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah that's what that is, BB. Yeah, but <laughs> Rebosa. BB Rebosa, come on down here. Fans began to chant as Johnny Football uh, went into the Cleveland uh, area, uh, Garrett, to sign. You know the the new contract. Yep. They were chanting Johnny Cleveland, Johnny Cleveland. Then another group started chanting Johnny Super Bowl, Johnny Super Bowl. If I'd have been there, I'd have been chanting, Johnny 4 and 12, Johnny 4 and 12. Are you kidding? He's going to be destroyed in Cleveland. 
Who is this they Johnny won't. that you're talking about? He's Johnny, Johnny Football. Yeah, he's Johnny Football. Now, he was supposed he to be the number one be, no, draft, but he... The, he's fine, but he he's came in at number, college football. came number three? He was drafted? No, three, way down. 22. Way the 22? Fuck, number 22, yeah. He will be He played murdered. for the Crimson, right? No, no, he played for Texas a and I'm sorry. Um, but he else. will... <laughs> he he will get creamed, mm, get creamed. But now you know what they're saying, Garrett. He's not going to start, so it won't make any difference. I'll let the other guy get killed for a while. He'll start. Mm-hmm. Were they going to throw Bobby Hoyer in there and be like, "Oh, he was pretty good last year"? When all the Bobby fans are there. When a Bobby Hoyer going to go in there? Huh? Let's go to John of Kentucky. Yes, John, go ahead. Hey man, what is going on? <laughs> We're good. Go ahead. Hey Jay. What? If James Winston likes free crab so much, why does he book himself a room at the Edison Hotel? <laughs> All right. You know what? The Edison is a fine hotel. All you can eat, baby. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a please don't. It's a fine hotel, and oh, Dominic's right. brother manages it. Please. That's not what I heard. But yeah, it is. Colin Quinn, Christina, has got to come back on and apologize. Hey, Jay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where the hell is Casey Kasem, anyways? He's uh, being held captive, apparently, in Washington State, either on an Indian reservation or he's sleeping under a bed at the Scientology retreat. Uh, he's been gone for a long time. You know, the last uh, broadcast they heard from that Malaysian airplane? Yes. Was the top 40 countdown? <laughs> <laughs> that was the last beep they heard? Okay. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much, John of Kentucky. Let's go to John of Texas. Uh, yes, John, go ahead. Hey, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey Jay, sorry about that. Um, yeah. yeah, I, uh, no, I just, uh, you guys were talking about earlier, uh, Christina's, uh, the way she, uh, uh, broke up with her, her. Well, he yelled at her. She said, let's get a divorce. Right. Yeah, but she did it fine. Well, well, what happened to me was, uh, yeah, my my wife, uh, well, ex-wife, um, <laughs> she uh, yeah. she came home from work, and I had uh, flowers and uh, uh, her gift, and I was like, oh, where would you like to go for dinner tonight, honey? And she was like, uh, I don't think we're going to dinner. And then she handed me my divorce papers, and I was like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> and what were the flowers for? What were they for? Well, no, I, it was her birthday, so you know, I brought oh. flowers. Oh, you yesterday. had flowers for her for yes, her for yes. her birthday, and she wanted to break up oh, on her birthday. She wanted that's to tell terrible. you. Well, there's got to be more to this story. No, no, she was a bad girl. What a Where horrible you bitch! Go Thank you. You're dinner. a horrible. It had to be other things leading you to believe. How that dare she you, was Christina? Happy. That's his wow. story. Let him keep it. Well, I'll tell you what happened. I just lost my ah. job. Okay. And, uh, oh, God. Wow, you lost your job. Story. It was her birthday. She's an awful oh. witch. I'm sorry for your I, loss. Well, I'm happy like, for your loss. Like three weeks now, prior to that. Had her lip <laughs> healed. <laughs> John? Yeah, what? Had her lip healed. Had her lip healed? <laughs> yes. We got the oh, <laughs> you got, you got, all, right. all right, thank you, John. See He's you later. Laughing. Very good. There we go. Alec Baldwin has been arrested. Alec Baldwin has been arrested. Yeah. And when we come back, you will hear the story of Alec Baldwin being arrested. Stay where you are. The Jay Thomas Show. Afternoon. Jesus. What idiots. Indeed. Sirius XM 104. Baldwin's tweet, New York City is a mismanaged carnival of stupidity that is desperate for revenue and anxious to criminalize behavior once thought benign. He was arrested for, he was arrested for riding his bicycle the wrong way on Fifth Avenue. And also not I mean, having identification when he was pulled over. He started yelling at the police. Uh, they were going to give him a summons. He said, I'm not, you know, 
whatever, not going to tell you anything. They handcuffed him. They friggin' handcuffed him and put him into a cop car on Fifth Avenue in New York City. I feel like they keep I mean, trying to make him an example of something, but he's just like, no, I'm you, playing you by my own rules. You can't yell at the cop and demand not to have... No, I'm saying he's just going to you know, keep playing by his own rules, and then they're just going to keep trying to make an example out of him, but it just never really seems to have any effect on him. Last August, Baldwin was photographed holding a photographer's arms behind his back and pinning him to the hood of a parked car. <laughs> Remember when he forgot, like, refused to put his phone away while he was playing words with friends? On, on, on the, the airplane? Airline. Yeah. I keep, yeah. every time he gets arrested, I get more hits on my YouTube, uh, my Alec Baldwin yeah. nice. uh, movies that I made. Well, his um, court date is July 24th, mm -hmm. and you definitely uh, have to go there. You think I you... should go there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's see if Why I'm not? open. I think that's a Monday. See, I'm not Alec it? Baldwin, you know? I mean, really? May 24th? No. That's a Saturday. Yeah. Um, I've, I've been sent a terrible note here about the ice cream truck song. Oh, what happened? Is it? No, wait. You mean, Christina, hmm. I can't say this. Well, you I mean know. the little dingle, dingle, dingle song is really a horribly racist song? That's what NPR is saying. I don't the know. One I don't think it's the Mr. Softy one because isn't that the da 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 da? My name is Mr. Softy. This is do your balls hang low? Do they waddle to and fro? This <laughs> really is. Knock time and no, out. this really is. Inward love a watermelon. Ha ha ha. That's what they're saying it is. Released in 1916 by Columbia Records by Harry C. Brown, who wrote it <laughs> and played on a depiction <laughs> of blind of black people. Um, Columbia greedily, released this back in 1916? Yes. It played on them greedily devouring slices of watermelon, and a song was played right. in the I background. Have, I have that song if you want to hear it. Oh, geez. This is Donald Sperling's favorite song. <laughs> but is it the same tune? Sterling. That's not it. That's, the That's same not song. it. No, it isn't. That happens like to be. Continental soldier, do you that... hear It's just the same well, song. It's the same song. Do your yeah. balls hang low? Do they have to? I don't want them, Alan. Yeah, you don't want to get him to play Abraham Lincoln Woodrow Wilson, Texas. You didn't come from niggas with your own bones to come down and get your ass free. <laughs> oh, yeah, my free. Oh, man. I can't believe that. Watermelon. <laughs> oh my god. Is that really the tune? It's, it's not the tune for all ice cream trucks. Well, let me tell you something. I turn it off. It's a catchy tune. In every, in, every, uh, in every Civil War movie, every Civil War movie, they don't sing it, but that tune. It might even be in um, um, Gone with the Wind. Mm -hmm. That tune is in every Civil War movie. You've heard it before, mm -hmm. haven't you? Kevin? Oh, we've all heard that before. Yeah. They know. turned it into children's wow. music. Do yeah. your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you wow. tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Wow. Aww. Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? When do you do say... your ears hang low? When do you say the I inward? the words of that song, you heathen. <laughs> I work a good job. Let's not forget. Oh, wow. The Jimmy Thomas Show. It's the afternoon show. We will say what you are thinking. What can I say? The guy's good. The Jay Thomas Show. Jay Thomas. Indeed. Sirius XM 104. I just want someone I can hold on to. I want myself. Mr. Olympia 2006, 2007, 2009, 2010. American IFBB professional bodybuilder, uh, Jay Cutler. Welcome, Jay Cutler, and your classic will be in Boston May 24th. Uh, how, t how tall are you, Jay? I'm actually uh, five foot nine, and I competed at when I won those titles at around 265 pounds. Wow, five nine two sixty five. Kevin Meany is also here. You you have thirty inch thighs. Jesus. Mm. <laughs> 
Wow. The biggest most people's ways, yes. Now, now, what about your uh, everybody? Use uh, what? How big? Uh, the the biggest I ever got in my arms were like when I worked out constantly. Maybe I got them to like sixteen. It, it was ridiculous. I look like a well, you do too. You look like a box. Um, how well, big I mean, are your I, arms? How how big I, are your I, arms? A sixteen inch arm is pretty big, actually. Uh, to, to most people, it was it was big, and I worked out constantly, and I weighed about one ninety, but it was hard. You were and too big, the, Jay. You didn't look good that when you were a there. lot of people. But I did. I didn't have those in the last few years, but I did. When Jay I was looks kid. very good. How, twenty Jay, Jay twenty-two Cutler. inch, twenty-two inch, twenty-two inch arm. That's what. Uh, wow. My arm measured at the peak. Now, how do you do that without the juice? I was all juiced up. How did you? How do you do it without the juice? I don't give a shit. Fuck them. You know what? I, I, I'm sorry to say this. Lance Armstrong and all the bike guys. That's when I watch biking. The baseball when they were all hitting the ball out in the park. That's when I fucking watch baseball. I don't watch any biking. I watch no baseball. Fuck them. Juice their asses up. They're there for our entertainment. Fuck them. Sorry, Jay. So, well, that's you know that's. That's really the misconception. I think a lot of people look at, and obviously the bodybuilders fit the part where you think that, you know, they're just using something uh, synthetic to get the way they look. But a lot of it, you know, believe it or not, we, we have a certain, uh, there's a certain criteria in bodybuilding, and a lot of our, our actually income comes from the supplement companies, and where we use a lot of different supplements because that's what we endorse in order to feed our, the support at the shows, the sponsorships. Uh, right. Most of that's where our income Well, I was on, I was on, on, back then, I was on Dynaball. Do they still sell Dynaball? I don't, I don't know. Uh, you know, we heard a lot about that with Arnold's Day, but you know, in this yeah. day and age, it's changed a lot. But a lot I did Dynaball. I did, I did all sorts of so-called protein. Now, what do you need, to, like, to make your arms that big? So you're, you're, you're lifting a lot of weights, and then you have to, like, you know, add protein into your, lots of protein? To... Well, the thing is, is, is people think that because that's what, that's what the conception How do your arms is, get uh, that you know, big? Well, I mean, it's consistent training. I mean, we, I was training for over, you know, almost 23 years now, but, I mean, I didn't automatically start, and a year later I had 22-inch arms. Yeah, it said, correctly. like, you worked in a cement uh I worked place? in concrete. I, I actually had a great physique. I was the biggest kid, obviously, in high school. And, yeah. and uh, as, even at 20 years old, I was 250 pounds because, I mean, I, I was had a very solid base. And I always tell people, you know, bodybuilding isn't just, you know, something where someone picks some weights up and they just grow automatically. You have to have certain genetics to get to that certain point. And, now, do you and, do uh, cardiovascular what, also, or are you just like... I do I do, do some when I train for competitions. The main thing is is that's what brings us into that rip condition and the vascularity and all those cuts. Mm -hmm. I mean, we only hold that for a certain amount of time that you see in the magazines yeah. on stage. Most of the time we walk around, we look like average people, except a lot bigger. We don't have the definition in the, in the you know, the, the crazy muscularity you see in the featured magazine. Like how many but, hours a day do you have to lift? You know what? Surprisingly, it's only about two hours a day. The rest of the day is, is getting the fuel to, to be able to maintain the size and obviously the performance in the gym. So we got six to seven meals a day, up towards the five to six thousand calories a day. And each portion meal, for example, I mean, I have 20 egg whites for breakfast and, uh, you know, a big bowl of oatmeal. I mean, my other meals might be 12 to 16 ounces of meat or, or fish. And, and that then, adds uh, to your muscle, so all that protein that's, adds. That's how. You, that's I mean, that's how you fuel the body, and it continues to grow. You ask the question, how do you get big arms like that? Yeah. I mean, you have to eat like a machine. I mean, it's, okay. You're, you're, twenty you're egg whites. Twenty egg whites. You scramble them. You you put olive oil in them. Or you drink I, them. I actually I actually drink them. You, yeah. you, usually now it's they're pasteurized, so it's not like days when I used to crack 140 eggs a day and try to get the egg whites, but nowadays. You know, things Jesus. have progressed. You can buy them. Now, how is your now. cholesterol and all that? Is that normal? Or? My cholesterol is great. I just got everything tested. My total is 165. I actually just got my test two days, two days ago. Oh, that's and, good. Uh, you know, I, I actually uh, never had issues with that kind of thing because we take eat the egg whites. The, the whole eggs is what has the cholesterol. But I think those are – that was really exaggerated anyway. A lot of people – I, 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 I agree with you, yeah. It's, now, uh, now you know, you, were, eat, uh, you were also a, a – uh, Corrections officer at a maximum uh, security. I, no, you know what? I I went to school for criminal justice. I actually got my degree in criminal justice in the hopes to become a police officer. 
And right. in the meantime, when I was going to school, I, I found bodybuilding. I found the gym. I started training, and I had success. Someone coached me into competing, and I, I actually liked getting on stage. I won everything I did as a teenager, and and I actually got hooked. I got sponsored early by uh, Joe Weider, who's you know there's a yeah, guy who big. brought Schwarzenegger over, yeah. and uh, Joe Weider's yeah. big. He took he, he took me under his wing, and pretty much uh, I established a career and, and uh, income from bodybuilding, mm-hmm. and. And that led me to obviously the level of that now. It's now well, so you uh, never, you never were a uh, a corrections officer. I never did. I mean, that was, oh. you know, that was, of course, my intention was to wear a uniform and look rather large in that uniform. But yeah, God, you I, look hot uh, in that uniform. <laughs> well, obviously, Jay, you're talking to a big, you know what? Okay, okay. I'm just saying. Well, I bet there's a lot of gay people in the muscle uh, in there the body probably building. Are. A lot, a lot, a lot yeah. of the gay community supports bodybuilding. There's no question. I mean, yeah. back in the days when yeah. Arnold, I mean, I mean, bodybuilding is we look. You know, people can call it a sport or a profession, whatever else, but it's really it's an art form. I mean, we're trying to shape our bodies the best mm-hmm. of our ability and. Using the mirrors to obviously critique how we look. I mean, yeah. We spend a lot of time in the mirrors. Now, my as my a lot hero, of gay guys do. <laughs> that's right. a lot of time in front of the mirror. By the way, uh, Jay Cutler is, is not here to hear about Kevin's gayness. He's here to talk about no, his. No, he's not. But Jay he's, Cutler. He, he also mentioned that the, it is a big <clears throat> part of uh, bodybuilding. All right. Okay. All right. Just admit it, Jay. Thank you. Uh, by the way, Jay, yeah. when uh, that football player kissed his boyfriend, I was also disgusted. <laughs> you are such a liar. I was disgusted by it. You were so uh, turned Jay, on by that. He called that, me yeah, up. I, I kept watching it. Noising. He noises into the phone. Just <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I, I, I uh, find that you don't know that was me. That. You, you don't know that. J- Jay, have you ever, did you ever kiss Arnold after you won a prize? You ever kiss him on the lips? You, you know what? Uh, we got as far as a handshake and uh, a hand job? Words. A handshake. I, I'm I sorry. Actually, sorry. I won Schwarzenegger's yeah. show uh, three times, so we, we've actually uh, we conversed here and there, and I yeah. feel like at the event yeah. he's still actively involved in, in obviously the business. That so. has to be the worst event to shake someone's hand at. Yeah, because everyone. Well, so we're on strong. stage. What What he's are you so supposed big. to do on stage? So wet. Yeah. Your hands you know, are so wet. And just like no, but do you squeeze really hard? They are, yeah, yeah, and try and hurt them because they beat you. <laughs> oh yeah, congratulations! I, I get that. I get that. I get that a lot, though. Guys come up and they want to shake my hand. Yeah, I'll shake your hand legs. hard. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How you doing, the Jay? Jay Cutler? Classic is in Boston, May twenty uh, fourth. Any of our listeners can they join in? We have a bunch of muscle. We have a lot of, of dumbbells course. listening. <laughs> oh, Funny, oh. <laughs> yeah. Can they join up if they want to? Yeah, of course. The, the uh, all the information's on bevfrancis dot com, and uh, you can. Uh, the show is taking place on that Saturday. There's a pre judging that starts at eleven o'clock. The final starts at six mm. o'clock, and. We have all age categories, men's, women's, masters, teenage. What about a fifty-eight uh, year old man? Does that can I compete? That's that, that you can compete in the masters, no problem. The masters, ooh. Do, do you uh, take, do you piss you test your body and, and put a pan on this all? Do you guys piss test? Uh, at those events, not not at the local level, more up uh, more okay. for the uh, professional competitions and some of the. Uh, like they have a team universe, certain events where you earn professional status. So this event up in Boston, I can go in and I can compete and I can juice up and you wouldn't even know it, right? <laughs> well, but you would, you'd, you'd pass the test, but, uh, you know, since you there is no it. test. Yeah. We'd know it. No, you wouldn't know We'd it. We'd know it. You wouldn't know it. You know, I took a diuretic once and I just pissed constantly. What, what does a diuretic do for you? I don't get that. Well, usually for water loss, but they're actually they've been banned a lot in what we what we do because that's the most probably the most dangerous thing about bodybuilding is shedding the water the last you know uh-huh. few hours before a competition. You but, don't want to dehydrate you know, you, like that, right? Right. You, you well, you do want to dehydrate, but you you want to do it safely. So a lot of people use uh, natural techniques. I mean, asparagus is a natural diuretic. The mm-hmm. lion. Uh, there's a lot of different supplements over the counter that you can use. Why is asparagus a, a diuretic? I mean, it just smells like asparagus when you pee after you eat it. Well, that's it's just naturally occurring diuretic for your body. Right. That doesn't happen to everybody, though. Only some guys get that, and some women. It doesn't. Ha- so no, it, uh, it, I, every, everyone smells uh, after they eat asparagus. Oh, really? No, I was peed on once, and uh, the guy had just had asparagus. And- <laughs> No, I'm I wish you were here right now, Jay, to put uh, Kevin in a headlock and crush his skull. Yeah, that'd be really funny. Yeah.
Well, now, Jay Cutler, over there. Uh, the that. guy, the guy that I remember was uh, Franco Colombo. Is that his name, Franco Colombo? Franco Colombo, yes. Yeah, but and Arnold would beat him, but Franco. I mean, I'm short. He looked to be about five five. That that and Arnold's about what six feet or six one mm-hmm. or something He's like six that. Six one, yeah, around six yeah. one, Arnold. Yeah, and and the Columbu guy would work, and it was also, I guess, in the in the movies too, and and his shortness, I think, worked against him. I really do. Don't you? There is a height uh, factor that that's involved because obviously we all compete. Once you get to the pro level and you're winning Mr. Olympias, we all there's no weigh-ins or anything like that. So obviously, the guy that stands a certain height. You get over six feet, it's harder to fill your frame out. Uh, the average height for most of the best guys, Mr. Lipke, is between 5'9 and 5'11". Right. So, I'm the perfect size for that. I'm 5'9". Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm a 5'9 bodybuilder also, but yeah. uh, that's that's uh, that's pretty much the average height, and you can pretty much stack your body with with the right proportions in that height. Any, any taller than that or any shorter, it, it goes against you in the judging decisions. Mm-hmm. As you've gotten older, people always go, well, you don't want all those muscles because when you stop working out, it'll all just dissipate and you'll have skin and all. It, does, I, I mean, does that happen to people if they don't work out that, after doing it, it to the level what, you do what, it? What you, see, what you see happen mostly is guys just stop working out, but they continue to eat the calories they ate when they were getting big. Oh. And so that obviously does turn to, to slop, you know, it, right. does, it does start to fall down, but the ideal thing to do is work out less, eat less, and then slowly uh, decrease your body size, which, I mean, a lot of most of the, the guys that were champion bodybuilders did. I mean, you've seen it with Arnold. I mean, he may have looked big in those Terminator Commando movies, but it was nothing like when he competed on the stage. Right, huge. And he looks and good now, also, you know. He, he He's kept yeah. he's kept a good yeah. physique. He's 65, he's 65 years old. I right. mean, he looks, he yeah. looks great for that for mm-hmm. that age, and uh, you know, he's still working out, obviously. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, Jay Cutler. Uh, I'm still having just... children, also, you know, with maids. So he's <laughs> right. Matilda thought he looks good. Yeah, yeah. Matilda thought he formerly, good, yeah. formerly Mr. Olympia. Uh, go to the Jay Cutler Classic in Boston, uh, May 24th. Where is your picture available? Are you in any magazines this month? You have oh, any... he's got a great picture. I'm uh, I'm featured I'm featured uh, all over Flex Magazine, uh, FlexOnline.com. I mean, my Facebook. I mean, any, I have over four million people on my Facebook. Oh page. my God! Uh, I'm, you I'm, are uh, a bodybuilder on the internet. Well, uh, a lot. Two million of them are masturbating to you, probably. <laughs> <laughs> now there's one, and I mean that. I mean that men and women in a nice yeah. way, right? Yeah, men yes. and women, sure. Now there's one I'm picture in, of you. I'm in Tongue Magazine again this month. <laughs> tongue. I'm in Tongue <laughs> Magazine. I don't know what that right. means, Jay. So anyway, Here's there's a tongue. picture of you. Vacuuming and you're lifting up a couch. Yeah, I like that picture. What is that from? Is it? That's F- 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 FHM magazine came out and shot me in Las Vegas in 2004 after I won uh, my f- third Arnold Classic. If you can see the picture, my dog's actually sitting on the couch. I was going to ask, was your, your dog, that actually and wasn't photoshopped onto the couch? The dog, no, the dog, the dog was sleeping on the couch, and I, I was doing different <laughs> things that a bodybuilder might do, so I was in the house. Vacuuming in my posing trunks, which I do on a daily basis. What did they want to make you look like a homemaker? Are you a bodybuilder no, I, and I, a homemaker? I, I am. I do that every day. I vacuum under the couch. I pick we all like vacuum under the couch. His yeah. muscles get so big. Yeah, sure. Wow. Well. <laughs> Jay Cutler Classic. Jay, thank you very much. A lot of fun. JayCutler.com. And if you're a bodybuilder and you want to join up in the Boston area, I do. Uh, May 24th will be oh. uh, the Classic. Thank you, Mr. Olympia. I appreciate it. I'll be looking, I'll be looking out for you guys. I expect to see you at the competition up there in your trunks. You got it. All right, buddy. Thank you. Trunks. Yeah. Jay Cutler. There you go. Good guy. Good guy. Uh, see, he said it was uh, gay. He said it was gay. Well, the, no, you have a lot of gay followers now um the two worst shows on television parks and recreation and parenthood have been kept for one final season and um community is gone that was awful uh but on abc uh a show called the assets has been canceled oh never heard of it no i never heard of the assets back in the game <laughs> betrayal <laughs> killer women if you've watched any of these shows, give us a call here at whatever the number is. 866-99-Indy. Uh, thank you. Lucky 7. 
No. No. Hey, it's been canceled. Mixology. What? We've had some mixologists on the show here. The other actually, the other day, uh, you had a mixologist. Suburgatory. On, I out. Right. Suburgatory. I've heard of that one. Heard of it? I've never seen it. Trophy wife. Nope. Nope. Super fun night. Mm. Are these coming out or they were on or no? They're they're canceled. Wow. You see the new show? I figure. I think it's probably Fox. They have a guy that looks like Prince Harry, mm-hmm. right? You see the redhead yeah. one that's yes. a little wild? Yeah. And they send girls over to England thinking they're going to marry, a, have a chance to marry Prince Harry. And it's just mm-hmm. some English guy that looks like him. And they're going to, like, Please. reveal it at the end of the show. Please. It looks kind of Okay, funny. that looks like a fun I show. Like, yeah. Yeah. Please. You know, On CBS, be- Friends with Better Lives, Bad Teacher, which was a bad movie well, bad teacher and does she like have sex with all the students and things like that i don't know that, that would be a bad teacher yeah. or a good of course teacher. how i met your mother is finally off intelligence we are been and um robin williams the crazy ones which was embarrassing oh it was not embarrassing it was a good show and i'm sorry it's off the air boy you really do defend this guy no so he's you know never, i the, my, me, he's my, never favorite, help my you. favorite story was when he's not you, gonna help you, you call you called me and said kevin do you think you could get Robin on the show? And I said, well, okay, no, I let, yes, you did. And I called Don't Becky. Don't even say that. I called Becky, and I said, Becky, do you think uh, Robin would come on Jay's show? And Becky goes, Jay talks shit about Robin all the time. Why would Robin want to go on the show? And then I called you back, and I told you that, and you go, yeah, I guess so. All right. Okay. Well, so he's not going to do the people, show? I said, no, he's not going to do the show. Some people are listening, I guess. But yeah. I just love that, that, you know. You like said, do you think you can get him on the show? I said, okay, I'll ask. No, you know like, what's oh. weird. No, you know what's really strange. And, J- and Robin was I like, listen, no, I, would, I wouldn't do that. I right. listen to the guy at Sirius that tells me I'm a piece of shit. Right? Mm-hmm. And then I go to an Which audition one? or whatever. Well, the one that <laughs> Craig, says it. Craig knows. called me the other day and told me to come back yeah. in after I walked out. You didn't listen. And I go to an audition mm-hmm. and there will be like, you know, a guy there, a director, going, oh, man, I listen to the show all the time, and, and he'll know stuff about the show, and I'm always, like, you know, surprised, mm-hmm. right? a little shocked, <laughs> so maybe. On NBC, a friend of mine produced a show called Crisis that got oh. canceled. Dracula. Yeah. Ironside. Oh, I actually was up for that show. Thank God I didn't do it and quit my job here. Can you imagine? In a wheelchair. Oh, no, they put. Um, He's on oh, crutches they put now. A, no, they put a black guy in the wheelchair. They put. Um, oh, I forget his name. He's the got Michael J. The Michael J. Fox show. I was up for that. I actually read for that, and I didn't get it. And I'm so glad it's the, canceled. The biggest complaint. Isn't that great, Jay? Was, when you get when you when you yes. don't get a part, and then it's canceled, yes. and you're so happy that it's canceled. <laughs> uh, many people say they watched it, and they and they shot, thought the show was shot out of focus. <laughs> Revolution. Sean saves the world. Oh, Growing yeah, up, Sean Fisher. saves the world. That was pretty bad. All out. Yeah. On the CW, Nikita. They went to the well one, two minutes. Nikita times. Khrushchev. No, 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 no. La Femme Nikita. Okay. Uh, no, I never heard of this. Uh, on Fox. Now, the worst show I ever read for. Mm-hmm. Seth MacFarlane. The worst, most horrible piece of dads canceled. Thank God, terrible. Mm-hmm. Raising who hope. was in dads? Seth um, Seth Green. Oh right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Rake. Rake. I've heard of that. I've never heard about that. Yeah. What is that about? Raking, uh, raking your yard? No, 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 no. He was a um, a, a sleazy uh, attorney. Uh huh. You know, okay. Rake, rake. Okay. Uh, ABC, Scandal, Revenge. Some of these shows that were canceled. Scandal, Part of those, Revenge. though. Those are pretty popular. Yeah. God, Modern was... Family's gone. No, really? it's not. Modern Family's yep. not gone. Well, you You're oh, no, Renewed. Yeah. I'm sorry, Renewed. Oh. Sc- all right, go. O- yeah, yeah, yeah. Scandal yeah. and Revenge. Castle, Scandal, all Renewed. renewed. <laughs> these are all Renewed. Nashville, ones, yes. <laughs> Shark Tank, <laughs> The Middle, yeah. The Bachelor, I'm going Resurrected. Go all not over. Yeah, canceled. all right. All right, I'm sorry. CBS, CSI, Mom, 
Are these were new? They're all kids. Yes. Yes. Everything's yeah. kids. Yeah. Elementary. Blue Bloods. Ugh. Mike and Molly, Hawaii Five O, The Mentalists. Mike and oh. Molly's a big show, you know, for big yeah. people. <laughs> NBC, Grimm, Hannibal, The Voice, um, Chicago PD, About a Boy, The Blacklist, Law and Order, Special Victims Unit. The Blacklist is with Donald Sterling. <laughs> yes, is he on that? Fox, final season of Glee. Oh. Bones. I asked my new girl. I asked my daughter Hamlet. if she watches Glee anymore. She goes, "I don't watch Glee anymore, Daddy." It the is. Mindy yeah. Project. <laughs> all she's Brooklyn Nine Nine. All the time. Not anymore. All right. Has anyone seen yeah. Brooklyn Nine Nine? I no. It won all the awards. I hear it's funny, I have, I but I don't know yet. anyone no. that's seen it. No. Not yet. <laughs> Andy Samberg. He's right. Funny. I like now. Andy. He's funny. No. Why no? Let's go to Jimmy. Who's in he's California? Young and funny. That's why. Hello, Jimmy. It's Jay Thomas. Go ahead. Hey, Hi, Jay. Jimmy. How's it going? I listen to you every day. Hey, um, my daughter's on. Uh, my daughter's friend is on uh, Betrayal. He was on Betrayal, I guess. But uh, yeah, his name is Braden Lamasters. He played uh, Braid, like, uh, one Braid. of the, one of the guy's grandsons or something like that. What, was it canceled? Did I say canceled with that one? Yeah, yeah. Betrayal. Yeah, she's all sad about that. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, why um, she, she's not on? She's not on the show. Excuse me? No, no, no. My She's daughter's not on the show. No, no, no. Her, that's her what I'm friend, saying. Though, yeah, her friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? You know, this, tell her to get. You know what? He's a loser. Get rid of him. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll tell her that. <laughs> but no, he's a good Hey, guy. when he comes over, go like this. Hey, loser. Way to go. <laughs> I'll tell, I'll tell How's that show it, doing? Yeah. How's that show doing? Uh, yeah. yeah the, the, show, the show was all right. I mean, it was just, you know, but it was, it had um, um, the guy from Babe. What was the old man's name? Um, um, the, uh, oh, James, um, oh, um, Cromwell. 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 Yeah, James yeah, Cromwell. Yeah, James Cromwell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it, it was, I guess, a decent show, but I guess it was, you know, it was, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you're All right. Bit sad about yeah. That. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jimmy. For you, though. <laughs> yeah. Right, Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. Hey, loser. Uh, let's go to Shawnee of Austin. Uh, yes, Shawnee, go ahead. What are they going to put a stutterer on TV? They had Michael J. Fox, you know, shaking away. He wasn't and a I... stutterer. He had Parkinson's No, we need a stutterer. Disease. We need a stutterer <gasps> on I, TV. I, I, I agree with you completely, please, 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 Jay. Why, why are they hiding us? This, right. This is outrage. Um, <laughs> it is. Why are they hiding us? <laughs> why are they hiding us? Yeah. <laughs> that made me, that is so funny. Why are they hiding us? But I'll tell you what, have you ever watched A Fish Called Wanda and they edit out the stuttering? Yeah, it's bullshit. Now, did that upset you when that movie came out as a person that is afflicted with a stutterous uh, inflectiitis? Um, yeah. yeah that That's came, the disease, when, when, by the way. When, when that came, 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 came out, I, I, I actually did, didn't when I, when I like it. I, I was young. And I hadn't come, 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 come to terms with uh, the way, way that I right. talked. Right. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it was upsetting to me, but now I love it. But, but what I just said, they, they cut, cut it out. Uh, how long did it take you to say I do when you were married? <laughs> uh, well, the, 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 the I do part wasn't so bad, but the, yeah. the, the priest... The priest actually insisted that we 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 recite our own vows. <laughs> what a fucking piece of shit priest that was, huh? Yeah. Wait a minute. Right? Wait a second. Oh, wait a second. How long did that take? Hours. Too long. It, it was a. It, it, it was in the middle of July. Ju- 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 it was te- terrible. Yeah. It was extremely hot. Hot, hot very hot. Yeah. Oh. Do nerves make it worse? <laughs> yes. Well, of course. <laughs> there, there was he 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 was cut 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 let me ask you a question. You know, when you're up on a stage, as you know, as a comedian, or when you're being married, and we know this was actors too, you can hear people say things, right? How many people, when you were doing your vows, did you hear go, what the fuck is she thinking? How many people did you hear say that? I, I didn't hear, hear, hear that, but when, when the priest said, 
Oh, okay, now, 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 Sean, and everybody in the church groaned. <laughs> oh boy, do you yeah. talk about this on stage, reading your vows? Uh, I, 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 I haven't yet. No. Oh, you got to. That, you got to. That's a good idea. Because all of us, you know, your wife is a saint, and I need to have her on this show. She's a saint. Okay. <laughs> right. Does she think she's made a mistake after all these years? No, no, Jay. I'm, I'm, oh. I'm, 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 I'm a sit, sit, I'm a sit, sit, sexy man. So, really? Mm. All right. Okay. Um, I'm lucky. You were talking. Do, do, do you, do you really do see my clip that I sent? I sent to Chris. Chris you, yes, I was. I was. Yeah, I saw your stand up. I. I loved it. I was. You're. You're just brave. You're braver than shit. I'd like you to enter this um, uh, weightlifting or this uh, bodybuilding comp competition. I'd like okay. you to go into that. Yeah, yeah I'd like you to do that. Nice. All right, um, Shawnee. Thank you very much. Uh, By the way, where can people see that? Where Where would they go to see your stand up? Uh, mm. This This thir 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 Thursday night, I'm in uh, near Gansett, Rhode Island, and then. Uh, Labor Day, Memorial Day, we we weekend them at the Comedy Connect Connection in Providence. Mm, wow, wow, that's wow. a big room. Kevin, you're jealous, aren't you? Of his, of his no, no, I'm not. I'm proud well, of I him. I can hear your voice. I, why would I be jealous? I think he's wonderful. I don't know why. I don't know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not jealous at all because I'm sitting here shocked that you're jealous. <laughs> He's green with envy, actually. Yes, he is. I'm like Comedy Connection. I'd like to work for the Comedy Connection. I used to. That's work what for I'm them. saying. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Shawnee, thank you very much. You brought out the ire of Kevin Meany, professional comedian. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Well, thank you, Shawnee. Bye-bye. Thank you, Kevin. All right. We'll work together someday, I'm sure. Uh, let's go to Stoner Ken from Huntington <laughs> oh, Beach. no. <clears throat> Stoner Ken, what do you think when you hear that stuttering like that? What do you Does that bother you? Uh, no, it doesn't um, bother me at all. <laughs> what? Sad though, isn't it? Can you hear me? Yeah. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah it's sad. Oh. Thank God. But you know, after I talk to him, I'm exhausted. After I, I know it is exhausting. I have a little bit of a headache. After you talk to me? Yes. No, him. I, I get a headache when we talk to you. <laughs> no, to, to to Shawnee. I even stuttered just oh. to 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 oh. to Shawnee like that. What well, is that, Kevin, in the background? Yes, laughing? it is. Yes. It is. Yeah. You know what you so, might have? I, I've read this. You've heard of, you know, HD, uh, HD, AD, whatever that is. HIV. There's a new, there's a new disease uh, where you, the person is characterized as lethargic, a daydreamer, and has a slow mental processing. They're calling it sluggish cognitive tempo. It's a real, it's a real thing now. Do you think you might have sluggish cognitive tempo? Uh, if I did, I wouldn't know it because I couldn't think about it. So. <laughs> right. Gar <laughs> you know. Garrett, please type in. You think I'm kidding. I People, believe you. You, you're going to be stunned again, Kevin. I actually looked this up. Mm -hmm. Sluggish cognitive tempo is the opposite of being hyper, and they are now mm -hmm. making it a mental illness. Oh, well, I'm mentally ill then. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Does that qualify me for anything? Now, yes. when you're not stoned, I mean, do you have withdrawal symptoms? How does that work? No, no. I when I they had me on narcotics for 14 years. Yeah, I had bad <laughs> withdrawals. But hey, Ken, can I ask you a few questions? Who is they? What do you mean? Who's they? Who doctors. who the you say? Oh, the doctors had you on narcotics. Yeah, yeah. In 1998, this butcher. Yeah. Uh, operated on me, and uh, I can't feel my feet anymore. So, like, I lost the end of three toes when I got a blister on them. Yeah. You cannot feel your feet. Uh, they tingle. I got neuropathy, wow. man. I mean, they just, like, you know, in the morning when I wake up, it feels like I've had my feet uh, in a bucket of ice water all night. And, uh so I've had that since 98, and that's why I had my second limb operate on my lower back, the guy I thought would bring back the sensation on my feet, but it didn't. Yeah. And, um, you know, anyway, hey, I want to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. Okay, is it in your contract that you do Friday at what's-his-name's 
Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. It's a part yeah. of my deal. Yeah. It's a part of my deal with Howard Stern only. Uh, Sirius oh. XM, uh, I, am, uh, I, I work for Sirius, but then on Friday I work exclusively for Howard, and I'm paid through the Howard Stern company, not mm-hmm. through Sirius on Friday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You sure go. And, and I took yeah. that as a real compliment because he wasn't on live on the mornings, and um, actually Tim Sabian thought of that back then, and I don't know that anybody thought it was going to work. I was nervous about it, and it worked out, and now they have me in the afternoons. They have some reason why they did that, and everyone's asking me. Again, I don't ask anybody why they do stuff, so I just – I really? just went to the spot where I was supposed to go. Yeah. Well, I, I just thought that you got a lot of shit there, especially from that twat that called in and said she just liked Shuli and all that shit. And I thought, man, yeah. they shouldn't take that kind of shit. That's well, all I, I have to. I've got to. i just got to take it all. Yeah, well. I, hey, I was going to bitch about the weather and it being hot here, and then I thought, you must be above the weather. Mm-hmm. You're every fucking place in the United States, yeah, and it seems like you don't care, uh, you know, the weather doesn't bother you. No, I'm sitting in an air-conditioned studio. I don't really care about the weather. Um, and I, I'm going to leave here, and I'm going to go uh, to my club. And is it hot out and, there? Uh, in in Santa Barbara, it is 80 degrees. It's 100 in Los Angeles. Oh, Are you in L.A.? Or How is it? No, about I was in valley? L.A. all day. I was in L.A. all day yesterday. In the valley, it's probably even more than 100. 105, right? 110, oh, nice. something Good. like that. So. Yeah, when it gets All right. at the beach, it's too much. Okay, well, nice talking to you. All right, thank you, Ken. Stoner okay. Ken. Uh, let's go to Ford of stone. South Carolina. Ford, do you watch that Parks and Recreation show? You ever watch that? Yeah, man, I'm addicted to it. <laughs> Shit. I hate that show. <laughs> why do you hate it? I don't because think he's funny. not on it. That's why he hates No, it. that's not true. Oh, no. That's oh, if true. you were part of that every week, you would be howling at the well, table. Of course right? I would. Oh, of course God. I would. Of course I would. But you life know what, acting. Ford? acting. I'm life acting. <laughs> I tell you what I can do. You you like Parks and Recreation, right, Ford? You love yep. it. I do. Okay. Cancel Ford for me right now, would you, Garrett? Cancel him, please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's go to Jim, who is in New Mexico. You are yes, Jim. Maybe he'll be renewed oh, I, next season. No, he, maybe so. Maybe he'll call back in a minute or two. <laughs> be renewed. Jim of New Mexico, you're on. Hey, hey Jay, how you doing? Good. I love, love your show, man. I, I listen to you all the time here on Sirius. The reason I got Sirius, actually. But, yes. Um, I'm, I'm a trucker, so I don't get to watch the current TV show. So uh, God bless Netflix. I guess right. I, I'm getting caught up on all the older shows, like the Breaking Bad stuff. Right. But I, right. Watching, I just started watching Breaking Bad myself, and I oh, have another right. five. I have another five or seven years, apparently, <laughs> of programming. Go. Yes, I, well, I, I just started because I love Brian. I knew Brian forever. I just he can, there's nothing he can't do. He's brilliant. Yes, go ahead. Uh, he is, uh, but uh, the, the show that I'm hooked on right now, and I don't know if you caught on the it at all, but Crest. With Dennis Leary, have you ever seen that one? You, you know what? I never got into it, but it's one of those ones that you have to sit down and start watching again. But people who did like it, well, I don't like circus shows, I don't like cop shows, and I don't like fireman shows. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Why? Wait a minute. Why are you laughing? Circus, fireman, and cop shows. I don't All right. like hospital shows. I'm with you. Yeah, there you yeah. go. What's a I don't like hospital shows. Show. Oh, there've been cir- circus movies. Oh, with movies, Burt Lancaster, circus. remember him in yeah. that movie? Yeah, well, even him even and Tony the- Curtis. Oh, well, every great. now and again, Garrett, there'll be a circus show. I don't like him. And he had a like limp. Huh. <laughs> what do you like about <laughs> Rescue Me? Is it is it that he fucks no, around with his wife? Show. Which is oh yeah, a lot of people love it. It's a it's an edgy comedy. You know, there's a lot of action. There's all kinds of different storylines going on. Uh, brothers sleeping with brothers' wives. I mean, all kinds of drama. Mm. But it, it really struck me as I'm only into the like the fourth season of it. I guess there's seven on Netflix. Mm. I keep expecting you to make some kind of guest appearance in it. No, I never did Russ QB. Really. You know what? Uh, to be honest, I, I don't know. I, I couldn't even. I mean, you know, I thought I was going to be uh, recurring on um, Ray Donovan. That didn't. The only. What did I do this year? I did. Um, 
uh, Rob Corddry show, uh, the news readers on Adult Swim. I I could I don't know who the fuck knows. I have I don't even know how yesterday <laughs> happened. The, CNN wanted me on every TV show. I don't know how anything. Yeah, happens. wow, I you're making no a big idea. comeback. I tell you that much. I may be, one day I'll be like 80 years old and I'll get in some fucking movie and they'll be giving me awards and I'll go, yeah, well you're a little fucking late. So you know you All right, Jim. He still thinks it's gonna. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I mean, it's not happening now, but <laughs> in in four years it may happen. You said yeah. you said it the best in when we uh, made the Curious World of uh, Jay Thomas. When they what? when I die, they're gonna play that Santa Claus movie over and over and over and over and over, and over, and over, and over again. again. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you, Jim of New Mexico. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Peter, who is in Missouri. Boy, what a Peter! This guy kisses a man on the lips. He went to the uni- you know University of yeah. Missouri. What the, the state has exploded? What's going on, Peter? Okay, you nailed Kevin right on the head when you talk about him with Shawnee. Whenever there's a I mean, Kevin's great when you're interviewing somebody, dropping his lines and being funny. But whenever there's any kind of comedian on the show. <laughs> He clams oh, yeah. up and he doesn't oh. come out at all. No. What are you talking about? No. Oh, yeah. Right. Shawnee makes you clam room. up, Kevin? Yes. Yeah. Shawnee makes me clam up. <laughs> hey, Peter, by the way, he used to have a big Christmas show. He never invited me one time nope, to join nope. in. And nope. he'll never be invited. Ever. No. I canceled the uh, show, never even so talking. I will not have yes. to invite you. <laughs> doesn't do it anymore. He doesn't. Like because Letterman. of you. Letterman. I don't do the show anymore because of you. I don't want to have you on the show. Letterman, Letterman canceled the show, so I can't, So no one will know who I am ever again yeah. after this is over. Most comedians do uh, keep quiet, though, when another comedian is on a radio show, I've noticed. Mel and they don't want Did to I tell you the Lone something. Ranger's daughter called yeah. me? Did I tell well, you that, that? And, you know, this is Kevin's regular gig. Did I say that on the air yet? What you Garrett, call you? The Lone no, no, she called me on the phone. The Lone Ranger's Clay- daughter? Yeah. Ka- Clayton Moore's daughter contacted me. When did she contact and you? I must have been Friday, I guess. I don't <gasps> remember. And what'd she say? Her dad was going to be 100 years old this year, and she wants me to do a thing in L.A., and then she starts saying how you have no idea how you kept my father's memory alive and, oh. and all this stuff. And I said, wow, I... I'm going to call Letterman and say, you know, because she says I have all the commercials uh, that he did for Dodge back then and all mm-hmm. that. Yeah, I, I, I guess it was Friday. I, I thought maybe I'd mentioned it, but no. I hadn't. Yeah, it was really kind of cool. And and, and how old does she know? She's probably 50. 50. She's 50 years old. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did she send you any she naked said her pictures dad, of herself? Her dad was a <laughs> athlete and a model, not really an actor. <laughs> I heard what he said. So stupid. <laughs> yeah, show so me dumb. some Clayton Moore. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm not going to bring it up anymore. It was something no. exciting that happened. It was no, exciting. I'm we want to hear it. We really are. No, you don't. Said, yes, I, we I, are. I, we want to hear. Hato's daughter <laughs> called <Call> Call Duty. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, Garrett. I said, what was Jay Silverheels Smoke like? She, she said, Jay Silverheels. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is why. Listen to this. She said that Jay Silverheels was this incredibly well-read, sophisticated. Who's young, Jay you know, Silverheels? Tonto. Tonto. Oh, that was, that was, oh, that was his name? You didn't know who Jay Silverheels no, was? No, I, I did not. I'm sorry. You're telling That's me crazy. I talk about old people? You know, I don't know who Wait the hell knows. Truckers that have no idea who Jay Silverheels is. Yes, they do. No, they Listen don't. to this. And she says this to me. She says, you know, Mrs. Silverheels <laughs> <laughs> and all of the Silverheels children yes. refused to ever be a part of anything that had to do with the Lone Ranger. Why is that? And, and I said, I said, you know, Tonto wasn't made fun of on the TV no, show. No, he wasn't. In never. fact, he what? But comedians made fun of him, and Johnny Carson, and all the mm, comics made Tonto. fun of him. Yes. And they refused to even go to any rep- retrospective. Nothing. Nothing. Were you asked to speak at Clayton Moore's funeral services or anything? No, no. They're asking me to, to MC. Yeah, no, I know, but I was just wondering birthday. if you had anything to at do the with the Gene that. Autry Museum in Los oh, Angeles. Oh, that's California. a great museum. That's a yeah. great. They have, uh, don't they have like his horse out there? Yeah, stuff. they have it all. It's oh, fantastic. Yeah. It's like pretty old. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's stuffed. It's stuffed. I know uh, Trigger and Happy 
Uh, no, that's Happy Rocket. No, Buttermilk. 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 <laughs> Buttermilk. <laughs> happy Rocket. Let's go to Scott of Indiana. Nelson's yes, Scott wife. of Indiana. Go ahead, Hello, Scott. Sir, how are you? I'm good. Good. Hey, I know why Senator is looking on the um, TV show. All right, a uh, uh, sitcom is what, 30 minutes long and about 20 minutes after commercial, right? What's he talking about? What's that? Yes. Sitcoms, sitcoms he's yeah. talking about. What about the that... can't write a man the, um, in a script because he's stuttering so much? You know, how long the uh, time it will go, right? Yep. Sure. <laughs> exactly. I oh, agree. Good uh, idea, Scott. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Call yeah. back next time. What's what? that? What? What's got? What's got? What? What'd you say, Scott? I didn't say anything. What do you say? Oh boy. Nothing. Go ahead. Say what you just said over again. Let me. Let me get the gist of it again. Go ahead. All right. I sit down. It's thirty minutes long, and twenty minutes after commercial. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And a, a center. You can A uh, writer can't really um, yeah. put a center in for. Um, for a script or something, how long I want to get better yeah. for it. It'll be like yeah. a 15 minute uh, sitcom. 22 minutes. 22 minutes? All right. It's yeah, a 22 20. minutes. 22. You run a 22 minute sitcom, yes. And then it's going to be long, it'll be like a 15 minute sitcom. Right. If Shawnee, are you saying if Shawnee was in a sitcom? Yeah. Is this cool. Shawnee? I, I no, think so. Scott. <laughs> This is Scott. Scott, please call us back anytime. Okay, thank you. Whatever. Have a good night. Bye. Aw, whatever. He said. <laughs> By the way, years ago, uh, and I was laughed at for this, uh, Balloon Boy went up in this. I thought he was. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I love that. And I said he was, you know, I wouldn't say anything about it. I said he's going to die. And I was all upset. Um, well, uh, two boys have been seriously injured, <laughs> five and six. They had one of those inflatable bouncy things in the Bounce backyard mm -hmm. yes wow they were lifted 20 feet into the air More by like strong winds feet. oh my god in south glens falls new york yeah. and they were inside of it oh, they have geez. suffered best uh, trip ever I, I said i was like i would have killed for this as a kid but i never it never occurred to me that i'd be seriously injured there was a third child in the bounce house with them a 10 year old girl she was uninjured he's the smart one. Oh. one boy landed on a parked car oh i forgot about falling out of it yeah the see? other That's one landed saying. on asphalt think about this and stuff. the 10 year old girl i bet she's got she fat little hands she could hang on. <laughs> she had fat little hands. I bet none of them had sho shoes yeah. on either. Yeah, you know how you know you know you know Kevin how little girls are fat. Some <laughs> she had fat little hands. She was able to she hang on. She not baby fat yet. Uh, she. By the way, how much kicking away of the little boys do you think was done in that in yeah. that thing? Get away from me! Oh, they were probably trying house. to hold on to her. They were trying. The Remember renting the those things? House, rent, I, well, they, they would rent. It was them. staked to oh. the ground. Yeah, it was? several adults sure. were present. And they just were going, holy shit, as it lifted into the air. <laughs> <laughs> kind of reminds me of Pippi Longstock. Like the whole movie. <laughs> now, you're not supposed to laugh. <laughs> I Girl. just remember them, that the, we'd get them for Kate all the time. And I was like, oh, look at this stupid thing being dragged into the, up the it's driveway. It's filled with feces. Yeah, absolutely. And I remember when they would, she would go, Daddy, can we get swings for the yard? And I go, no. Why not? You know, so-and-so has swings. I said, we can walk down to the park. You can swing down to the park, okay? And I refused. And Marianne was always going, I want to get swings. I want to get swings. I said, we're not getting swings. We're not getting them. And I refused to get them. But bouncy house, I would have to let them get the bouncy house because we'd come up for like a afternoon, you know? S absolutely feces-ridden, mm -hmm. urine-infested semen. Mm -hmm. Who knows what else is in there? Yep. Probably. Um, <laughs> from the priest. You have anything Rivers. to say about it? Joan Rivers is in trouble again. Oh, no. Um, yes, what? She's now making Lindsay Lohan miscarriage jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knew that was a lie yeah, to make up right. not being on camera for the Oprah show. <laughs> miscarriage. She, she's, she's making miscarriage. She might have made Miscarriage with Edgar it was horrible. Oh, God. What I like is I love the likes and the hates. I love that when you're underneath the thing. Uh, can you can you get the uh, maybe, wait a minute? You know what? I'm going to share it with you. Oh, here it comes. Okay. Am I going to be able to do this? Oh God, sure. what is going I'm on? I'm so nervous. He's going to no, blow the computer no, out. No, I, you know why? I don't know the I don't know any passwords. 
So just find Jones. What are you talking about? I don't know. He doesn't know the passwords. passwords. I don't know a password. For you, you just. Yes, it's something. No, it's something. It's Facebook or something. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Just get, just get, Christina. Just, it's on the it's on the bounce house. Uh, you uh, poor thing, you thing. It's on the, it's so the internet. Pathetic. The internet. My mother is what faster is? on the internet than you are. Do you really? She it's really is. Thing. It's on the internet. Yeah. That thing. Miley Cyrus has been making rape jokes on stage. <laughs> <laughs> I would like you to bring up. A uh, local bounce house company owner talks about oh, this. This is from 2011 now. This past weekend, when a big gust of wind Dude. blew away three bounce houses. No. <laughs> With kids inside. <laughs> oh, Our God. Reporter Stephanie Trong is live in our newsroom with details. It's wrong. Well, Aaron, Whoa. this bounce house accident wasn't the first to happen this year. So we spoke with the local business owner who says the horrifying moments caught on camera that you're about to see are the exception. Oh, great. Here they go. Oh, my God. 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 <laughs> kids still inside them. Oh, this girl was tangled in a rope that was supposed to anchor down one of the bounce houses. A rope ca got caught on my neck and it dragged me over. <laughs> this was not the first time this year. It happened three times in the Tucson, Arizona area uh, it's since very windy out there. A concern yeah. for Isabel Hernandez, who was picking up her two young kids <laughs> from a bounce house party Monday. <laughs> That's definitely something to think about. You know, make sure yeah. it's really anchored down. Yeah. But and then she went back to a crack house <laughs> after that. Those terrifying bounce house actions oh, are the Injuries crack. Or, or bumps and bruises and an occasional broken arm. He's scared. We haven't had any injuries here in over six years, almost seven years yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, no. Here goes the kids. Get out of the bounce house. No, that come along with setting up a bounce house outdoors, which is why all his are inside. We control the temperature. We control the oh, lighting. Oh, you're a pussy. We control how many kids are there. What the kids are on which jump house? But he speaks up for his entire industry, saying that most operators <laughs> the bounce take every house precaution industry. <laughs> using bolts or sandbags to keep the house. He speaks expanded. up for his industry. Most importantly, Evan says, is doing the research before you hire for a party. You need to know your operators. You need to make sure that they have insurance. Your uh, operators. You need to look at their gear and make sure it's that the it's clean and, clean it. and uh, that it's well taken care of. That is the true yeah. danger. What about the operators. feces in it? In the urine, the semen. Now, at least one of the blood. parents of the kids who were caught in the bounce house in the New York accident this weekend <laughs> is considering some legal action. Good. Which is why All the right. seconds of jumping around in Monterey so have parents for. signed these waivers of liability, um, you know, acknowledging there are risks that yeah, come with, that many with other these waivers. That's Although bullshit. he wants to stress again, there have been no injuries there since the place has been open. Aaron. All right, All right, Stephanie, thank you. Uh, the Federal Consumer Product Safety Commission estimates that between 2005 and 2007, bounce house accidents put about 6,000 people a year. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's worse than a gun. That's worse than guns. 6,000. I wonder what the numbers are for the ball pits. Oh. What's the oh, ball pits? Wow. You know, when you go into the pit of balls, there's a lot of feces in there, too. No, I don't oh, know yeah. about the ball pits. Yeah. No, I know yeah, that's do. at McDonald's and yeah, stuff, right? Yeah, the ball yeah, pits, yeah, yeah. I had to go and get my kids because my son would strangle yeah, that kids. That is, that is so horrible. Garrett, I need Filthy Miley Cyrus pits. rape jokes, and I need uh, Joan Rivers uh, <laughs> miscarriage jokes before we leave. I need them right now. Right. Garrett, I got your Miley Cyrus rape joke I coming to you I got your Miley Cyrus rape joke. Via G-Chat. Here we go. Oh, wow. I'm, in, I'm in love with her. Yeah. I want to just get her good. She was you. sucking on a big penis on stage. Good too. for her. I wanna, you know what I want to do? I want to get Kate her. Kate loves house. her. I want to get her in that house in Cleveland. I'm really big. I feel really good about myself now. And so I'm going to tell those that broke my heart, particularly one, just suck my Just suck my fat. I enjoy hearing this song. Is this Miley? It was a foul mouthed yeah. Miley Cyrus at the GAY nightclub in London, England, and as you could probably tell, she didn't have good things to say about her ex, which we'll assume is Liam Hemsworth, but she didn't confirm. Of course, that rant wasn't the only thing that got people's attention. According to reports, Miley also made a tasteless rape joke while addressing the crowd. She reportedly told them that everyone's a little bit gay, all it takes is one cocktail. And if that doesn't work, sprinkle something in their drink. That's what she always does. Yeah, probably not the smart thing she's ever said, that's for sure. And somehow still probably not the dumbest. 
Nice. Somebody ought to stick something in that guy's ass. Yes, and thank him you. Off. Why? <laughs> Jesus. Right on the head, it's Jay. Recording. You hit it on the head again. All right, let's listen to Joan Rivers' rape jokes. Uh, no, no, miscarriage jokes. <laughs>